I came out, I'd done a podcast, I'd been in a room locked down, my emotions were raw, I was deep, I was on the edge of f***ing exploding. I've gone onto that podcast with the rat, spoke out, and it was genuine. I'm sick of putting shit out there where I'm getting told without having the evidence to back it, so I've stopped doing it. Right, but what I'm getting told about this creature is f***ing disgusting. You know, he's getting off his face, he's smoking crack in Edinburgh. He's, he is what he is. He's just a horrible, manipulative piece of Anyone that, anyone that um, has give people a platform to damage me in the last two years, yes. I will yes. never interact with them, yes. ever. And that's why you don't see me engaging with the podcasters, the because they get, they're giving platforms to liars. And the, when they're giving platforms to these liars, yeah. it, it, people call me a liar. But every podcast I've done, I've done nothing but spoke the f***ing truth. Yeah. Because my message is all, it's all about the message with me, mate. Yeah. I haven't heard a living for five years off the message, you know what I mean? We want podcasting to be true, yes. real. We want it to be truthful and everyone's looking into to hear truthful stories. We don't want to saturate it with kids who haven't got a story, but they're inventing one just so they get clickbait. Now I'm starting to turn the heat up on them yeah. because these individuals that are targeting me, the targeting me when they've been out on the Friday night on the coke and they sat there of a weekend smashed up off drugs and drink and then yeah. they target me. These are just young lads with drug addictions get off the face of a weekend and, and go sick Monday to Friday against everyone. Yeah. Well, Sean, come yeah. here, <laughs> no. love Once respect. again, me. Thank I'm you. sorry. Better. I'm sorry you've sorry added to the box as well. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Jen. Lovely meeting you. No. Before the podcast, here's a word from our sponsor. Now lockdown has lifted, it is more important than ever to get out there and put on your smile. <laughs> good health starts with good habits and quit make it easy. By delivering... All of the oral care essentials you need to care for your mouth. The Quip electric toothbrush is loved by over 7 million mouths and has timed sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. A multi-use travel cover that doubles as a mirror mount for less clutter. Reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues, including best-selling all black and all pink, as well as bright plastic colours sure to make a pop to your bathroom counter. On top of your brushing, you can upgrade your Quip with a new smart motor to track and improvise your brushing with the free Quip app, earn amazing awards, like free refills, products, Target gift cards, and much, much more. If you get quip.com slash Sean right now, you'll get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash Sean. Spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash Sean, S-H-A-U-N, Quip, the good habits company. Smart electric toothbrushes for adults and kids have all the guiding features of our original brush with a new Bluetooth smart motor that connects to the free Quip app so you can track your brushing, get tips and daily coaching and earn rewards for good habits like brushing two minutes twice a day. Why? A healthy mouth is its own reward. But free gifts like refills, discounts and products can also motivate people to consistently brush better. Yes, people. Hope you're good in this bad weather. It's that fine rain where you get soaked, see? So, the bottom line is the ongoing dilemma between me and Sean Atwood. Hopefully, wanting to be solved. So, he's coming up today. Him, 
his co-host Jenny and their cameraman. They've travelled all the way from down south today to come up here, spend a couple of hours with me, have a sit down, have some food and of course document everything. I'm not shy to ask questions and I won't suffer no legal answers back due to legal blah blah blah. That'll all be cleared up before I ask them anything. So I'm not here, as I stated on my live feed the other night, I'm not here to trip them up. I'm not, here, I'm not here to set him up or shit on him or make his reputation get questioned any further like it has been over the last two years. So that's what it's about, about me shutting doors, opening new ones and moving on with this message. Always been the case with me, the message, the message. Choose a life, not a knife. Always. Peace out, I'll keep you updated on my way to the train station. So there you go, bang. There you go, people, rolling into Newsby train station. I've had a message off Sean saying they're going to be half an hour late, so I'll just have to get there like I always am early clock back surely, observe what's going on, observe if everything is fantastic and ready to go, and then go and meet him. <laughs> anyway, so I'm here people, got myself a little pack lunch, and as I'm walking through the train station, we've got confrontations everywhere. going off in Birmingham New Street, people. waiting for that wood to let you know when he's coming he's so gone. I'm still here just got a message off them telling me that they're here so let's go and look for them can't be hard to spot them can he really or can he um, yeah how are you mate alright I'm with Sean how are you where how is he he's, uh, he's just gone to use the loo met his cameraman alright where's, where's his girl same, to use oh, the loop. So they said they're going to come down one of the escalators. I don't know which one, but they said they sent me a message saying they're coming down. It. Who are yeah. you with? Are you with someone else? You with a red haired fellow with a camera? No, no, just me. It's sure like someone's to, following us. Uh, then. Oh, there they are. Hello. You okay? Pleasure to meet you. Are you sure? <laughs> Good, Darren. Yeah. Good yeah. Yeah. You have a look, Sean. Said it, Auntie. This is Sean. Well, Family met him again. Got Jenny. Got the cameraman. Yeah. Let's get this done. Yeah. So we just took over this train. We finally made it to Birmingham, meeting Darren and he's taking us to his house right now. We're gonna check out his art. We're gonna be talking about his mission, L5 Alive, Choose a Life, Not a Knife, and discussing possible collaborations going forward. Darren just told us about an exciting project he's got an opportunity for right now at the station. Are you all right to talk about that, Darren? Yeah, or? Yeah. Well, so tomorrow I'm going to the, um, play a part in a film. 
it's a it's not a low budget one but it's not a high budget one it's just in the middle there's a lot of there's a lot of um, screen actors in there that you used to like coronation street and ollie oaks and places like that so i've got the opportunity to go in there um, try and act if i come off good opportunities might open up for me and, and there you go my life's flowing everything's getting better and what's the gist of the movie are you allowed to say that yeah it's about um it's about an ex militant well a soldier that's coming back from service but he's got PTSD and how it's affecting his private life and his social life here on the streets. So I'm playing a doorman. I'm playing a doorman, yeah. So security men are not good. So I might as well go see what happens. Any prospects pop up, take them in it. Definitely, especially if you're collaborating with people at that level. That's what it's all about. To go for my first, my first, my first time of acting, to be on a on a stage with them actors, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Do you feel comfortable acting? I don't know. You don't know, do I've you? I've never talk? asked it to yes. 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 What I'm asking so. all the time, go on. Do you have to like, learn lines in advance and shit? Or? <laughs> they just left them open for me. Or just stand right. there looking on. Just fucking they get just want me to be natural on it. Just get into character. Yeah, they call yeah. me Daz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be brilliant. You would be natural, I reckon. Yeah. Well, you never know. I might, I might turn up tomorrow and it's, and it's a setup. I might end up getting into this this public house where I'm going. Yeah. It's half shut down for us. I might get in there. There might be a crowd of 20 men with one kid in the middle wanting to straighten it on camera. So that's what I'm hoping it is. <laughs> that's, what I'm that's, what I, that's what I'm hoping it is. But you never know. That's the that's the kind of thing Wildman. That's, that's what, what it's about, isn't it? That's the kind of thing Wildman would say. Oh, have you got his and, uh, I Brought him with us actually. What is he? He's not fell out in the car. No. What is it? It's a fucking photo of his mate, Wildman. Are you fucking kidding me? I brought Wildman's pitch, it's fallen out in the car. It's alright, I've got, yeah. I've got something about Wildman in the Sweet, sweet. It's got that little thing, haven't I? That's it No, it's a big yeah. frame picture. Shit. Can't believe that. Oh, Travelled all the way three hours out here. I know, here. I know. <laughs> um, so watching Darren's stuff, Jen, yes. what do you think of like how the intensity of how he speaks? And, like, I, I think it's brilliant, I really do. And I really like the message you're sending out that I'm not fine now. But people take it as aggressive, don't they? Do they? Why do you think it is? Do you think it's romantic? I think it's a passion, to be honest. Yeah. I think it's more passion coming out aggressively instead of passion. In one way, in one part, you've got to have that passion to get that message across. So it's just. I've got all the passion in the world. Yeah. People don't like my passion. Do they not? You won't like me. You're only slaying in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got a few. Uh, well, I mean, few I mean, I mean, I mean, the uh, criminal fraternity don't like me. Here's our station. Yeah. Oh, we're here. Sweet. I'm in. I'm in the lift with Jen, James, Darren G, Sally Oak Station. About to go to his house now. Just scan everybody. All right. Thank you. Never. Right. I'm only in. Um, this is shit. I'm what I'm in. Just all off accommodation. So how long have you been here now? Three months. Three months. Yeah, that's a move from Alaska. Yeah, I saw some videos about some idiots. That's all. That's what I'm living with. Fucking idiots. Are you still with them? It makes me jail. It makes me. Um, makes me life hard. I'm not even. See, it makes me jail hard. I'm not even in jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in jail. Right, so now we've got how long to walk is it? 15 minutes. 15 minute walk. This is student heaven round here. Yeah. Students everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that, University of Birmingham up there. Yeah, United Students. Trip them out. Too much travel? No, not really. No. The most trouble you get is since I've been here, students. A bit loud. Yeah, that's it. Getting a bit louder. Other than that. Probably one of the best places in Birmingham to come and raise your kids and stuff here on it. Yeah. Got everything here. Gymnastics classes. There's just everything on your doorstep in the cellio. 
That's what's good about it. So do you go to one gym in particular? No, I fluctuate from gym to gym. Right. I've been watching your videos. I'm fucking hell. How many weights? <laughs> I, I, I just do my body weight. It's not that. I only weigh 80 kg. You so. and, like, it didn't move and then you pulled it down. And I was like, that's impressive. <laughs> Loads of people do there. You've probably, you probably never seen many men training. Uh, some women watch that shit and get wet. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that that stuff when you're going upside down off the bars, that was fucking. That's cal that's calalistics, isn't it? Calalistics. Or calistics. I, I can't say the word to be honest, but it's along them lines. Yeah. It's just core strength, basically. How could you go to the gym next day? What? Do you go to the gym most day? Yeah. Doesn't, he doesn't fucking sleep. He's, he's like doing live streams throughout the night. I've got mad energy, mate. It's weird. Live, yeah. All night long live streams. And he's going off to the gym. <laughs> mate, when I did the day of podcasting, I fucked. Like Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to get that. Yeah, it's knackered, isn't it? I will quit, don't I? You're doing those bloody things, yeah. It's all those... I want to get them on film. What, what was, the, what was that um, bags in the way? <laughs> she likes showing off her boots. <laughs> I think they're getting quite a reaction. Yeah, we put a video out this morning, everyone's like, fucking hell. <laughs> Driving a man. So, finally made it to the room I've been watching so much of hours and hours of Darren's content and here I am in in the room in Birmingham he's got it decked out nice here's his art Darren has been offering some of these for sale are they all for sale all the, the painted ones you will be you yeah will be in the end yeah yeah so anyone interested in that we're gonna have all of Darren's links in the description box if you want to support his work invest in his art and I really like this badass 3D Bruce Lee over here <laughs> well that went that was given to me that was it? Yeah. Oh, cool. by one of the viewers? no by a, um, an in, uh, I was going to say an inmate by an housemate in the old house right that's a bit damaged now you know it's been getting turned around yeah but it's got a character hasn't it? it's cool it's just different isn't it? so work in progress yeah, I like that piece. Yeah. I don't know where it comes from, to be honest with you, Sean. If, you, if you think about it, experience. four months ago, I, I, I never painted in my life. And what made you want to start? That experience there. That one? So I just needed to get that image off my head. Yes. So I got canvas. I was trying to... Like, Oh, it's still going. It's just on, on power saving. I was trying. I was trying. I was trying to, was trying to um, explain that image to people, and they couldn't really grasp what I was saying. So we had to just get it off my own head, put it on that, and then since that, it just hasn't stopped. You're a busy man. <laughs> Therapeutic mainly. That's why it's all there. Yeah, it's like meditation. Isn't it? In, yeah. in the zone. That's all it's for, basically, to keep my mind focused on positive shit instead of negative. So. Now all the music we've been listening to on Jen's phone on the way up here. Is in this picture. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it I had a bit of Vicky Souls on, and had a bit of uh, Dr. Dre 2001. It's so around that time, and yeah. when our generation thing got brought up on the likes of G Unit and Dr. Dre and oh, it was a Master shit. P and people like that. Yeah. Well, it is not men, but the men that counts. Is that in the Napoleon Bonaparte show that makes? Is it? Yeah. Wow. I like cheese. Got it on my arm as well. So yeah. It's up here. And the, the Quintus Elementum means Quintus, meaning the fifth. It's my son's name in it. Quintus means the fifth in Latin, and right. Elementum means the fifth element. Wow. So that's what Quintus means. Congratulations. Yeah, that's brilliant. I fucking read um, 
a couple of books about Napoleon in prison. What a story. They put, and then they put a him small, up, tiny man. And, they put, and how he like rose up again at the end. It's mad, isn't it? He dealt with him by then, hadn't he? They just gave him a bit of breathing space, didn't he? They had to box him off on the island, yeah. didn't he? And he was doing his head and he died. And he died That's in it, just yeah, it's ruined him. Well, to rise up from just being a soldier to what he became. He was a proper revolutionist, weren't he? Yeah. You heard, you heard, you heard, you heard of like um, he was a French revolutionist, weren't he? But you've got yeah. Cuban revolutions like Navarro, yeah. Jay Navarro, all them. Oh yeah. They, they're all on the same level. Sure, yeah, Russell Brand's always going on about him. At the time, at the time of their heights of um, their revolutions, you're like they classed as terrorists. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And they were classed as terrorists for most of their lives because of how they were behaving, but they weren't. I'd say to Sean, I'd love to get Russell Brand on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. You might do, it'd be good to get him on. Yeah. He's, very, he's very philosophical, <laughs> isn't he? And the way he speaks about addiction. He knows yeah. everything. Will he be there? Yeah, yeah, totally. I think he was, a di- I think he was a- caught up in the mix of addictions alongside that Amy Winehouse, and I'm not too sure. I think, I think he's so. part of the same group in London yeah. that was... Sort of you know, experimenting with heroin and, and all that stuff, so he knows if he's been there, he's done it. That was sad with her, wasn't it? Didn't she come out of rehab or something? Alcohol withdrawal, was it? That did her in? You never know me, do you? You, can, yeah. you, can, you, can, you can't say. If the family don't release details, then they're not going to release details. Everyone can assume and um, jump to conclusions because she used drugs a lot, but yeah. you don't really know, do you? Yeah. That's why she's her voice, her voice, honestly. It's stunning. But did you see her a couple of performances? I think it was Glastow where she got absolutely fucking yeah. hammered. Yeah, yeah. Was it, and I was like, mate, you're ruining it. I prefer the documentary yeah. where she's yeah. like about to win a major award. And all the like biggest names are there, and they they, they, they think they're gonna get it. Yeah. And then they call her up, and they're all like, "Who's this?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Yeah." Little that little bombshell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Small, powerful woman. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrecked by a man and drugs, basically. And that's what happens to loads of small, powerful women these days. They get a horrible, nasty man in their life, get them hooked on drugs, and they're finished off them. Mm. And that's why the message is so important, especially what you're saying about the family side and the women on these things. Yeah, you can't see it. The, the only people that can't see it are involved in it. Yeah. Mm. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Anyone else who's not involved in it are looking at that situation going, this is shit. Yeah. yeah. The only people that are saying it's boss are the ones that are distributing the poison. And the cops are in it with them. Majority of them have been in Liverpool yeah. for decades now. Since we were kids, there's been corruption right through the police force in Liverpool. Yeah. yeah. No, nothing's going to change. Didn't someone get arrested high up in Liverpool? Like, the, was it the mayor or somebody? Joe, Joe, Joe Anderson, the mayor, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. That was exposed in three years ago. Yeah. You know, I've been there in conversations about him taking contracts out. Or he's got a brother, so basically he's got family, his family, I've got mates. Them mates were securing contracts on a lot of council buildings throughout yeah. the city. Cameras, carpets. Anything like that was going to his family's friends and he were getting a contract for it yeah. and he'd get a lump out of it that's and the how, rest. That's how these private prisons work as well, just hand out all the contracts and they make the phone calls, the food, everything. Yeah, it's all, it's all based on it's all based on contracts to private prison. Yeah, yeah. That's how they win the tender, by yeah. saying we'll make sure no one commits suicide or you can give us a million pound fine. So when I was in, um, when I was in Loudon Grange when it first opened, Every inmate that killed themselves, the jail got a million pound fine. Yeah. So what they used to do is put four men on them 24-7. You know, these four men had come into work and do nothing but sit at this perplex door watching this kid so the kid didn't kill himself. Yeah. So they never got fined a million pound. Is that why they introduced those guys who go and counsel them as well, the prisoners, what are they called? It only happens in private prisons. Does it? It's like prisoners council. So what you'll have, you'll have a meeting every yeah. so often <laughs> and you'll have like, the representatives of the wing, yeah, and then the governor and the bo, but it's bullshit. Right. Not ever gets done. It's just a way of persuading the prisoners that we're engaging with them and we're getting shit done. But really, nothing yeah. gets done. Yeah. What's that thing that the Samaritans go in? What's it called? Well, the Samaritans that train people up. Well, it used to be Samaritans. Was it Samaritans? And they call listeners. Listeners. Tomorrow. That's it. Now I, w- I was thinking about setting a listeners type scheme up yeah. out here. Yeah, yeah. Why not? You, I haven't got the network to do it, but the bottom yeah, line yeah. is, I was here during that pandemic, you had a lot of people that weren't getting the visitation right. off their family members, or they weren't having the conversation they had every morning, walking the shop or stuff like that. So what listeners could do, is just say in, in Birmingham, you'll have a team of 15 listeners, 
and the and the going to your nan's house for an hour, just listening, making a cup of tea, doing whatever, leaving. Because there's loads of old people that are dying through loneliness well, and no company. My mum runs a pair company down down the southwest, and I used to work do a bit of work for her doing sit-ins while they partnered, so that I could relieve their partner to go out and yes. go play skittles so or something. Place the, the yeah, company. and sit there chatting with her, watching you know Coronation well, Street. So this would be this would yeah. be a similar similar yeah. sort of thing, not yeah. to help to help the needy. Yeah, that's good. Did you ever did you ever become a listener or anything like that? They wouldn't pass me. It'll be hard for me to. Um, I was all up for it. I was the right grade. I was the right type of prisoner. I was a model prisoner, an ant prisoner, not getting arrested. Always just getting on with me jail the correct way. Yeah. But my security file just mm. wouldn't allow me because I'm a high risk cell share. Yeah. In other words, when I've had a cellmate, I put him in hospital. So mm. for the majority of my prison, I've been single cell. Mm. So if I'm a listener. Of a night, you get locked in people's cells if they're feeling suicidal. So it just cut me out. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. No, so they didn't want to take the risk of me going in a cell with one of these kids. Yeah. yeah. In case something went wrong. So the previous cell mate had beef with. Was that like gang stuff or they had bad charges or? Well, the one I'm on about was in Walton. That's how long I've had a single cell for. Yeah. So Walton, when I was 21, was the last time I was there. Right. I've got a smackhead in my cell called. Um, I woke up in the early hours of the morning and he's smoking smack. So there you go. Yeah. Off the bed, pardon. Um, that, uh, it's a foil or something, is it? Chasing the dragon? Yeah, it's just smack it. Yeah. It, just, it just stinks. Mm. Yeah. It stinks of fish. Does it? Mm. Like a mad smelly fish. That's it, not nice to wake up. When you're living with someone in a room, it's like the size of a toilet. Exactly. It's a disrespect thing, isn't it? If you fucking blowing heroin smoke in someone's face and shit. But when I'm, mm. when I'm waking up in the morning, I'm going to feel a little bit rough here. Yeah. I'm not knowing that he's smoking smack while I'm asleep. So you're inhaling it? So I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep, and while I'm asleep yeah, undercover, yeah. like a closet, he's getting it out while I'm asleep and smoking it. And just like, so I'm inhaling that shit, aren't I? So I woke up one, one mid um, in the, as he's doing it, basically, started off the bed and waited him in, okay. rang the bell, Come and took him out the cell, and that was it. I was um, classed as a high risk cell share from then on. Right. The reason he brought that in was because um, there was a kid from the northwest, I forgot his name, he was in jail with him years ago, Robbie Thingy. Oh, they've sent him down to London, but he's been a racist kid, proper yeah. hates Asians or Pakistani kids. So what they've done, they've sent him down to London, they've put him in a cell, right. and they've put an Asian in with him, even though his yeah. file sales, ba 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 ba, don't put it. They put an Asian with him and he's and he's murdered them with the table leg. So to stop that, to stop that happening again, yeah. they brought the high risk cell share assessment in. But obviously loads of people play with it. Yeah. So when I go if I go into custody now, the first thing I'm saying is I'm racist, I'm I'm I ate all this only to only get a single cell. You know, so you go up the you go up the market. So they ask you questions. You go racist, boo. Can't put them in with a black or a Pakistani. Even though you're not racist, you're just using the system, so you have your own self. Yeah. So your YouTube channel now, your new one, it's all back on track, is it? Not on track yet. It's getting there. Obviously, it's up and running. It's monetized. Yeah. But I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it, to be honest with you. Who's helping you now? No one. No one. It's just me learning as I go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I've got to go through all the comments. Mm -hmm. I've got to set the plan, the monetization. You've seen how the editing is, it's just basic. Well, so you're not doing all the editing? I do everything. Everything no. you see on my, on my thing is just all through me. It's not like I've got no one to do anything. Yeah. Well, maybe today we'll have so I'm learning on the job. Well, yeah, we, 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 I'm learning on the job, mate, so it is what it is. Yeah. James does most of mine. Yeah, I'll give you some tips on programs to use and stuff. Yeah. I just need to guess, get to a place where. Um, Employed, earning revenue, so yeah. I can employ an editor full time around me. Yeah. You're not far you know, off it, you know, so he comes in at nine o'clock and gets off at five o'clock, and all he's focused on is what's going on on on, on me. Yeah. That, that's where I want to be. Yeah. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. I've just been stalled. I'd be there now if he hadn't had all this fucking dirty, poisonous bullshit to deal with in the last two years. Yeah. I would have been flying by now. They knew that, and they've just stopped the flow. They thought they'd cancel the message out. They went all out to cancel the message, basically. They tried, but they can't cancel something real and organic. They're not 
Definitely. You've got the following and you keep building it up and then it keeps getting reported and you get knocked back down, isn't it? Right, so. I've got a team of young people working for me on TikTok. So they know. I told them just take whatever you want off the channel. Well, look, we've got to get them. I want to know. I know that story is horrendous. Who is it? It's uh, that. Oh, not him. Uh, Pass us that one, cousins. James. That's perfect. Well, do you think that was powerful the first 10 minutes of me live last night? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you stay with that, That's what I'm going to there's do. nothing to target. That's what I'm going to do. And you've got. Solid content. Yeah, solid. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Mean, no delivered. One, everyone's scared to touch on us all nervous. Delivered with the passion and everything. Yeah. Definitely. It was um <coughs> we had a guest on what's his name? Peter Blex. The next station is I've seen him. He's after, he's after he's after the kid that killed Lucy Harvey's and Yeah, the, I was gonna ask you well, about I've got that. An episode on that. Have you? Tell me tell me you check that out. About that name, then Lucy Harvey's name. Lexi reached out to you about that. He's messaged me a few times. Yeah, yeah. Step onto the platform. Because I said, Harley's dead. Yeah. Which he is. Is he? Yeah. And was he the killer? Yeah. Yeah. The only person that can get Keith Bradley and Downs guilty is Kevin Harley. Right. They were arrested for the murder and acquitted for the murder. Killed a mum and a kid and the other girl. Yeah, oh. yeah. So what they've done is they've there's been a lad called Gary Campbell. Yeah. Used to rob cars years ago. While he's in the rob car, he's bonneted this young lad, killed him. His brother has gone back twenty years later to do the damage. So the kids the kids' family have gone back twenty years later to kill the driver. When they went through the front door, there's a body on the couch with a quilt over it. They've automatically thought it's Gary. Right. Blasted them and set it on fire. But it was the girl. Oh. The girl was under the quilt. So it was not just a... So they've gone in to kill him. Yeah. But got her because she was under the quilt, oh. thinking it was him on the couch when he was upstairs with the kids. Oh. Everyone in the city knows who it is. Yeah. Everyone knows who's responsible. But for some fucked up reason, we've still got this wall of silence. So. Nobody, you're gonna break it down then. I'm just, I'm just highlighting what's being forgot about. So there's, there's murder after murder after murder that's involving a drug dealer or a drug dealer's girlfriend or whatever, and it just gets forgot about. Mm. So over the last 20 years, there's something like 50 murders right. that haven't been solved. In Liverpool and the alone? Yeah, and the, and the reason they don't get the attention you'd get if you were murdered is because they were criminals and they were involved in crime. Yeah. They don't get the input that you would, as a legal member of society, into their investigation. Yeah. yeah. That's a fact. And if they hit a brick wall on it, they hit a brick wall, fuck it off. Yeah. Whereas if they hit a brick wall on yours, they'll go back every two years and try and break Is the it? wall yeah. on it to just yeah. look into it, looking. Maybe With these kids who were getting shot dead through gang life, mm. they're not revisiting them. What, just leaving them on file. Just leave the files there. Just leave. Just fuck it off. We know who they are, we know who's done it, we just can't convict them. Leave it. Yeah. It's not, it's not a priority. Oh. And that's what's going on. No one else is touching the subject, so I'm, I'm touching on it. Yeah. Why am I touching on it? It's because the message has brought me there. Yeah. The message has sucked me through some mad routes. Hasn't it? Yeah. It's sucked me down, what a journey, look, down the drugs, down the drug dealers, yeah. onto the fucking murderers now. Yeah. Did you imagine you'd be here when you're in prison thinking like... No, I didn't imagine none of this, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'd get out, I'd get myself a job and yeah. just melt into the background. I got out, I got, I got out, got myself a job. Yeah. Lost me job, and that was it. Wow. And you just started your podcast, too? Uh, just started my social media on my phone and my video. Yeah. It just went through. And it's just, I just got popular that fast. How long ago was it then you did your first video? 2016. 2016? That's good. Okay. Not, not a YouTube video, it's like an Instagram thing. Just a video. Instagram. Instagram. I'm on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, because they weren't out when I went to jail. Yeah. So I've got out into this iPhone thing, oh wow. It's good that you've both 
I never embraced it, I just went with it. Yeah. I didn't know what the fuck I'm doing. All of a sudden I just started getting messages from the random people. Gotta get that into you. And it just like built and built and built. But like you get a few time to time. Yeah. But with his, it's just well, it's just not stop. People, I, I, I made that phase up, realise, recognise, realise. Yeah. I said that in someone's podcast and it's flying around, everyone's using that theory. Yeah. And that's what it is. People aren't daft when they're watching my screen. Yeah. You know, they're not fucking, they know who's real <laughs> and who's shit. Yeah. yeah, that's what I know. And the majority of people always stick with the real. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm quite sure if I don't get shot dead, I'm, I'm going to fly. Yeah. Because I'm real. But do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I'm real, I'm gonna fucking fly. People yeah. like reality in a world of faithness these days. I fucking do. I think the lockdown has done it for the favour. That's what I'm saying. Because you can recognise yeah. when when we're all locked down, you can you've got time to compare and say, well, hang on, he's full of shit. This kid. Yeah. You can't identify someone that's full of shit. You're, you're pretty daft, aren't you? How yeah. quick can you? Quite easy. That's what jail does for you. Yeah. In jail, when you've been in them, you've been in them environments, you've got to read body language like there's no tomorrow. Because if you let someone miss, folks, he's slashing your face. So you've got to understand the body language, what are they lying? What's it's so easy to do once you've been absorbed in that environment. Well, man, it was, better, it was really good. We, we call it purification. Right. So if someone was trying to spit games a while, man, within seconds, he'd just fucking demolish them. I said, oh, you've just purified another one. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, what, that's what it is, you can yeah, recognise yeah, yeah, bullshit yeah. straight away yeah. Yeah, yeah. when you know what it looks like. Yeah. If you don't know what it looks like, you're involved in the bullshit. Well, exactly. Oh, good judge of character. Yeah, and there's so many copies in your style now. Oh, you get loads. Fake explosions on fucking cams on. How are we ever going to move forward exactly. if we're constantly referring back to that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't move forward if you're constantly looking back. You know? Yeah, we've got so much to offer. Yeah. They're just fucking rats. Welcome aboard this service to Forex. I was vulnerable mm. at the time of in, um, James English podcast, yeah. mate. Mm. I'm coming from a deep hole. Mm -hmm. I'm often killing myself and shit. I'm a very vulnerable individual. So the first sign of any care and love, yeah. I'm latching onto it. How's and your that's head what he now? How are you feeling? It has, its, it, has its, it has its moments. Yeah. You did a video saying about three months ago you were down, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I go so down, it's, it, but. I don't naturally go down, I get put down oh, they by them rats. Yeah. And that's what they try to do. They basically try to make me kill myself. Truck Gangs used to have a code, the Mafia used to have a code. But then it just went, yeah, whoever's the most brutal human. is going to dominate. That's what's happening so they started attacking society. the families. It used to be don't harm women or kids, and now they attack families and tie them up and put them on, on put videos online. Yeah, especially the, the Mexican cartels. Well, that's that's so what's like happening that. now, isn't it? It's a crossed over, hasn't it? That's what's happening yeah, now. You've got yeah. no, there's no fucking, there's no chain of command. Yeah. No. There's no chain of command. The chain of command starts at the top, it comes down. So what did the law do? Take the top out. So there's no one in control of them, and everyone's just running free to do what the fuck he wants. Yeah. You got all these young people. They're just coming in with life sentences. It's like fucking, where's your brain gone? You know. Mm. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know, they're just like me at 15, yeah. looking up to the elders, getting weed, getting a bit of dough, thinking these are the bollocks, next minute you're getting a gun to mine, next minute you're getting told to go and shoot him in the leg, yeah. before you know you're laid off. Yeah. And that's happening with thousands of kids now, right now. That was happening to me yeah. 20 years ago, it's happening now to kids, but the kids are getting caught. Yeah. Life off, the train killed, and step onto the platform. It's a mess. Choose a life, not a nice, powerful. No one can say it's not. No one can say it's not me. I mean, no one can say, like, really give a shit. Street. That's where we are now.
what are you, what's your recommendation then? Do you have any allergies on you? No, so what normally comes with a recommendation is the stuff they can't sell in the kitchen. So is that why we're getting oh, recommended no, now? I'm recommending my favourite dishes. All oh, right. Oh, <laughs> to James English. <laughs> I'm allergic to James English. <laughs> you don't eat meat, do you? So what would be your first... Your Are you not having meat? No, because it's dead rats in the jail food. I, I convert it to the Hindu religion to get vegetarian and just diet. Decent, and you can do that, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I was a vegan myself for four years. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so what? I'm gonna get that. Okay, Yeah. What can I get? Can I get no pickled cucumber? No. No. Um, what's that sauce like? The paris sauce. What's it taste like? It's meant to be a spicy sauce. Spicy. Um, yeah. I'll get it without that. Yeah, and um, no bun either. <laughs> yeah, but can I get a, a, a side order of this with it? Yeah, please, yeah. thanks. James is going to eat all the fries anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a big appetite, mate, when it comes. No. Oh, yeah. Could I have the mixed grill? Looking yeah. in front of you, aren't they? Oh, yeah. It's not Kicking on already. Starting, but it's just pushed aside, mate. Yeah, it sounds nice. Yeah, have you got um, the marinated chicken, please? Yeah. Large bottle of mineral water. No ice for me, thank you. On the other side. Ooh. What's up, Sean? I'm just like feeling like what's going to happen <laughs> in my belly. Yeah, they're inside. So you said just sold out sparkling water. Oh, sparkling water, if you please. You didn't fancy the, the cocktail? Fresh orange, mate. Regular. Yeah. Um, oh, do, you do you drink cocktails? Okay. That was well, my second choice. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't mix it. Yeah, I'd give us lemon and lime then. Lemon Yeah. Regular, please. I'm just going to tap water then. I'm having a beer, so if you want to join me. I don't drink. You do not. Depends. So are you getting drunk now? Yes. Are you getting drunk as well? Yeah, I, I never drink. Perfect. Neither do I. You should go drink. You better drink. I mean, a drink of a new year and that. News. Yeah. Or if I'm sat there with a girl and we're having wine. Yeah. Yeah, they were buzzing then, I that recognition, weren't they? Fucking hell, return of the juice bombs. <laughs> <laughs> should have got that, I should have spun that quickly. <laughs> right. Do you have lots of mates around here then? I've got no mates. No. Just put it all into you. Podcast. I've just got no I've just got no mates. It's it's a like lone a, wolf. Yeah. What about mates from prison? Right. No criminal mates at all. Oh right, okay. As far as I'm aware. Yeah. Have people reached out to you who've been in prison with you? Loads. And have any of them wanted to come do a, do a video show? with you? No, it was get me on graft. Get me on, oh, OK. What is your, I mean, your parents, right? Do they, are they around? Do they my, dad's, my dad's a nonce and he's dead. Oh, shit. And my ma lied about the nonsense, so in my eyes, she's yes. dead. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And that's where he's been for years now. Yeah. Yeah, my next question was, do they, what do they think about the podcasting? They're just on the bandwagon with every other cunt. He's a pan pot, he's lost it. You know, because I've exposed the truths of our family where we were getting nonsense when we were kids. Yeah. It is what it is, lad. Like. I know I'm genuine. I know I'm not, I'm not here as a kid, no one. So anyone can do whatever the fuck they want. Even if I die, the truth's still going to seep out. Yeah. Do you understand? So it is what it is. Do you have any security measures? None. No. 
I people was thinking about getting like CCTV on the vine just in case because I live on the ground floor on my own. So. Yeah, well, a woman shouldn't be on the ground floor anyway, should she? Oh, it's the one with the garden, though. The nice part with the garden. So. Squirrels. Oh, I've got the squirrels with a little stream running down. You're all right, aren't you? You're, yeah. you're, just, you're, you're a legal member, aren't you? So yeah. you're all right. You haven't, got to, you haven't got to take security steps the way I have. I was explaining to Jen on the way up here what Osmond warnings are. An Osmond warning, that's what it used to be called, is yeah. a threat to life warning they're called now. So basically, um, there, was a, there was a fella years ago called Sutton Osmond. Yeah. And the police are watching a group. I've got a group under surveillance. Oh, sorry, just spun that round. But yeah. The police are watching a group and they've got this group under surveillance. Yeah. And whilst they're watching this group, this group's discussion killing Osmond. The police never done nothing. The police let them crack on with what they were doing and they went and killed Osman. So from that incident there, they brought in the Osman warning. I didn't so, know was this job. So when, when the police are investigating a group and they hear intel to suggest they, this group's going to kill them, they've got to go and tell him there's a threat towards your life. Okay. They don't tell you who it is, where it's coming from, how it's going to happen. They just tell you, we've got information to suggest there's a threat on your life imminent. Yeah. Do you want protection? Yeah. That's it. If you refuse protection, they fuck you off completely. It's like they want you shot dead. Yeah. So what they, what, what they should have done for me was, when I got issued with this Osmond warning, what they should have done for me was, when, right, we know you're in danger, someone started to kill you on the step, we're relocating you. Yeah. That's procedure of every police force. We're relocating you so you're Wait. safe. They never done fuck all to me. They give me bail to the house next door and put me on a tag. I had to be in at eight o'clock every night in this address where everyone knows I am. He tried to kill me a week before on my ma's step. They give me a bail dress next door to my ma. How was the police? Over them sacrateurs. Yeah. That, that was them sacrateurs. Yeah. That was them sacrateurs. Could you have me on bail for two years on them sacrateurs then? Where I couldn't move. So I'm starting to say to them, you've got me locked in an area where people are trying to shoot me fucking dead. It's your own fault. Yeah. Go to the housing, trying to get a flat off, no, because I'm homeless. Trying to get a flat off your housing. The best advice we can give you, Mr G, is to leave the city. Yeah. Are you going to help me relocate? No. That was the council. I've got the complaint process. No, I've I logged it. It was all under Joe Anderson, this, though. I'm noticing the more time I spend with Sean, like, around Sean, how this keeps reoccurring, the similar situations. Keep hearing about them, about corruption, all the corruption. Oh. I'm just hearing it again and again and again. No, I didn't know before joining Sean on the podcast, I was really unaware of how, how much was going on. I had wow, no the corruption in our city, it's been there forever. It's been there forever, it's still there. I think since I've worked with your show, I think I've been educated and I've learned so much and it's like a real eye-opener. But did you like know a lot of this stuff already? When you go to prison, you quickly learn all about all the corruption. Yeah. Because you see everyone with like commodities but, and you, the media leads you to believe it's all serial killers and rapists in prison. Yeah. It's not. It's people with drug, drug problems, yeah. low-level <laughs> drug users. When I got sentenced, and they said my bail bond was $750,000. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the courtroom, all the low-level uh, criminals, they all gasped. And they're all like drug addicts and yeah. people who've been like homeless. And it's really sad. They're vulnerable people, mentally ill people. And they're all, all these parasites and corrupt companies are making money off the back of it. So you're, exactly. you're seeing it firsthand. Yeah. What, what about the other corruption with like the government and businesses? And Sheriff Joe Power, the boss of our jail, 100 million went missing that was supposed to go to food for the prisoners. And he's giving the prisoners food in boxes that says not fit for human consumption, yeah, yeah. or the sell-by date's gone. Oh, thank you, the man in the room. <laughs> We've got a sparkling. Oh, that's fine. Is that your lemonade? Lemon, oh, lemon and lime. Which is so cheap, the decoration, but very good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Like basically, you just got tins and put a sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> Empty loads of tins of what the cooking. Yeah. Have you got my tap water, please? Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, the pro the, that's what I mean. All these sins have probably had the food, the cooking. Yeah. So they decorated for basically nothing. Yeah. It's clever. It's all cheap shit, isn't it? But yeah. it looks good. No Banksies. No Banksies. <laughs> you will all be gutted if it comes out in five years that it's fucking real, won't you? It's oh, worth it. millions. I think it is. It is real. It's it real. does look good. Oh, it's too hot. It's definitely real, are. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. I wouldn't have kept it. It's the only thing I've kept. So I've been just, homeless, just... I've lost my fucking my clothes, bags of clothes. I've, I've sacrificed my clothes to bring that. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking down the street thinking of his bags. <laughs> I'm just going off his ass. It'll be worth it. Yeah. Well, his art's his worth more the rarer it is. And what he's done is he's, 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 he must have smashed the flag and made four pieces of art off the same flag. Mm. I got part one of it. So I'm convinced around the city of Liverpool there's probably another three parts yeah. stashed around. Should we go Banksy hunting when we're up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, had this I've, had this, I've had this thing caught. He's under Robin Hood. Yeah. His profile's Robin Hood. I'm sure it's Banksy. Do you know what someone told me? That it was the guy from Art Attack. Tony? Yeah. I don't know whether I believe that or not. I've been, I've, I've been told... Well, I never got told. I'm assuming it's, it's this Robin Hood profile. He's sending me... He's buzzing with me art. I want to collaborate with you soon. I just don't want to tell you where I am. I'm just like, who the fuck are you? He's got 10,000 followers, but he's private. And he called himself Robin Hood. And he's sending me photos of, of some of his art, what he used to do when he was younger, where he's done full cars, spray painted full cars in this crazy art and all. So we never know. He must be aware that I've got his bank scene, he's just looking at me thinking, should I say it's real or not? Like, I could sell it to you for buttons and then all the next day it'll be released, it's real. Yeah. yeah. Why, don't we, why don't you sell it to me now? Ten pounds? <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about this. This, this, is what, this is what I've been thinking about doing. Just putting it out there like, a, yeah. like it's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it out, it's gone. Just say, just I've given it away to someone, it's gone. Not in my life no more. Yeah. And then wait for them to say it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the opportunity is there if you ever want to sell it to me. I've been offered five grand for it and refused it. Sorry? I got offered five grand for it. You refused it? I reckon it's a lot more. Yeah. I refused it. Yeah. It's worth a lot more. I know it is. You get it. If, get it's it. the, if, it's the, if it's the genuine article, it's a million pounds. I used to live down the road from one of his works in uh, Cheltenham. There's loads the around there. Someone's, uh, someone's cut it out called. the wall. Yeah, they've cut it out. What do you do in Birmingham now? Do you get plastic perpex? You drill it over it? I was just gutted. It keep it on the wall. wall. It was, I was really quite pissed off. It was a my wall at the time. It was only a few doors down. And I thought, come on, mate. Just a little bit further. Yeah. <laughs> no. But yeah, no. I think I was at a party with Banksy once. There's a place called Santa's Ghetto. And they do it every Christmas. And they take over a place. And they have like artists, anarchists, so I'll go in there and they do a, like a week long exhibition. And I'll sit in with his management team and uh, it, it wasn't going to say who he was, but he could have been one of the group. And uh, I went out because I had to do something and they wouldn't let me back in again because I wasn't famous. And I was a bit pissed off and I so I wish I was famous so I could get back in again. It's like bouncing with the Santa, I don't know who you are, you can't, you're not coming back in here, just here. Yeah. Oh, they got told, don't let him back in. Yeah. <laughs> when he's gone, don't let him back in. Yeah. Have you ever been shell shocked by meeting anyone, any of you three? Shell shocked by like, what? Um, a celebrity or like meeting your hero. Oh my god, so I was at Stock Newington Literary Festival yeah. and um, there was like this green room where there was. The guy who fucking killed Rambo in the Rambo movie. And as a kid, I watched that, right? And I was with this woman, she goes, yeah, you know, just go in and talk to him, he's a normal guy. I'm like, yeah, no problem. I walked in that room, yeah. saw the guy who killed Rambo, the actor. I fucking shit myself. I couldn't speak. I couldn't speak. I was like, oh my God. Is this James Goldsmith? What's his name? Um, 
he's, he's a Shakespearean actor. He's like got a round face and white hair. He killed Rambo in the film. I think he killed Rambo in one of them. He was on a helicopter or something. Oh. <laughs> Rambo <laughs> films, like you're going back up in time, eh? Wasn't that? Wasn't 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 Rambo one? Rambo two. Who's Rambo two? Who's the villain? Yeah. Who's your toilet mate? Stephen Burker. Stephen Burker. George yeah. on the craze. It was yeah. him. It was him. Did you get his yeah. autograph? Pardon? Did you get his autograph? No, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. He was. Hey, he this is no, guy killed Rambo. As a kid, I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guy killed Rambo. Hey, yeah. Who's most sort of famous person you've met? Yeah. Who I might have been shell shocked by. I don't. I don't usually get shocked at all by yeah. anyone. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you my favourite. You know Doctor and the Medic singer? You know, going up to the spirit in the sky? So I met him in the green room at the festival, but he was fucking wicked. And I met Bob Marley's manager. That was cool. That was really cool. Is it Lee Special Perry? Yeah. He's wicked. Yeah. Oh, he loved Bob Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, it was about a week ago. Oh. I went down to his house, I switched. Did you? Yeah, and he has a, an apron in his living room. Oh, really? Yeah, it's weird. Oh. And um, my mate... He's a good friend. friend of him, and started doing art work with him. So we were doing an art documentary. And um, we got... Who did we get first? I think it's Dave Knight for someone. So Dave Knight was a key to everyone. Because everyone yeah. liked Dave Knight. And we got Ken Russell, Dave Courtney, um, Lee Scratch Perry, Peter Tatchell was in it, Boris Johnson was in this film. Wow. And we all went around the country interviewing people, asking them 20 questions about what they believed in higher powers. So it was a mm. life after death. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. For some people, lucky is like people's lives laid out beforehand. It's quite interesting. But he, um, he made it arty. So everyone's saying these really deep things on camera, and then he'd do something like have a little bit to break it all up, and then he'd have a, an easel, and he'd put all this paint on the easel, and spend like a minute doing that, and then just put it in his face. And uh, just be really weird. And... <laughs> I love that. So it would put people off. So you had all these great people saying these great things. Like Boris Johnson said, he said, what, what do you think happens when you die? And he said, you're either happy or sad, or whatever moment you're experiencing when you're dying, that's what you experience for eternity. And it's like really weird, weird stuff. Do you reckon that's true? Most people are scared shitless when they're dying. Yeah. Do you reckon you like that for eternity? No, probably not. I think you carry on, like, your soul or your intelligence carries on in some, some way. And it, you just like transfer it to something else. That's all we do, mate. Ener all energy, all energy forms transferred, you never die. Yeah. You just get powerful. Yeah. Like David Knight says, I kind of go with what he says. You're never going to know for sure, are you? But my theory. It, it, it my, holds up, doesn't it? My theory on this subject is we come from the dark into the light. Where's the dark between the woman's legs? It doesn't matter what woman's legs you're coming out of, that's your way into this world, through yeah. the woman's legs. How you get out of here, I don't know. But the next level you come into, you're coming out of another woman. The woman is the key to everything, basically. Without the woman, we won't get to different levels of living. Thank you. That's how it is. That's the way it is. So my theory on it all is, this stage is a refining process. It's a refining process, and what's, got, what's being refined? Your energy. So we'll put you in, you'll get put into situations where your emotions are running wild. Once you can control them emotions, that's when your energy is purified. Once you're, yeah, once you're fully in control of your emotions, that's when you're purified, and that's when you're ready to reach that level. To that's reach that threat level, I think you have to be totally honest to the world, to yourself, to everyone. And this is what I'm saying to you. Inner wealth. Once, yeah. once you're focused on this, yeah. if you get this 100%, yeah. 
you're reaching levels that no one else is getting to. I, I always do things with a pure heart. Well. Pure energy it is. Yeah. Like, pure energy. You don't want to fuck people over, screw people over, or know each other. Well, that's what we saw. So, so, if you get to the, if you get to your judgment day, and they look to you, right through you, and you are energy, you are pure, you're pure, and they and you have done no murder, 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 you have done no
Because you're doing good, yeah. I, that, I'm doing a good thing. I'm in the righteous position in all of this. And it ties in with, because I, I was always interested in conspiracy theories. And I think the British shot, well, Janet Pay was killed, wasn't he, by his own government. So they wanted to carry on war. But the biggest one is the 9 11 thing. Why did they orchestrate all of that death just to make money by invading Iraq and Afghanistan? The people who be that evil, it could be something otherworldly that's actually controlling the world. Because if you're right. already rich, did you orchestrate to get Tony Blair and George Bush and get them all together and say, right, let's go into a rank because we want to get richer? Yeah. These guys are already rich, aren't they? So what's making them do pure evil by invade Afghanistan and just wipe out families and, and just kill most is it, people? Is it a power? Power trip? It is power, but yeah. people like Tony Blair and George Bush, they're already rich and loaded. They're going to be, they're in, they're president. Is it never enough? It all depends what you're practicing. Yeah. Like or it goes into a dark arts. Exactly that. Yeah. It all depends what you're practicing. And then at that stage, are they influenced by otherworldly beings who yeah. are what they like? The bottom line is, the bottom line is this. On this is my opinion. All these Sony players, all these prime ministers, they're nothing. The day like a teacher in a classroom. Exactly the same responsibility as a teacher in a classroom. Only they've got responsibility over a thousand or a million people instead of yeah. 30. Yeah. They're just teachers outlining rules, outlining what we're going to do today, outlining what we're going to do next week. It's a teacher act. He's, he's really good. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's simply, he's acting like, they're acting like teachers, yeah. keeping control of a school. The head they're not power. Yeah. I'm heard the Queen's gone already. I mean, the Queen is not in power anymore and she hasn't been for over nine months. We're just waiting for the new powers to be to go, here we are, where are your new power? Do you think it will, Charles will get it or it will go straight to William? What do you mean? When the Queen... The, the crown. The crown. Who do you think it will go to? Arabs. <laughs> the... Don't think about the, the Prince. Don't yeah. think about Kings. Go That's gone. fucking I'm... Arabs. I'm telling you, you've yeah. only got to look at the country to, be, to understand to become a Muslim. How's your, what's that you've got there, mate? It's grill. What's that black thing? Black. Give you fucking cancer, that won't it? <laughs> How bad <laughs> it is. Now it's oh. Well, that's what they say years ago, isn't it? All them, all, all them bands. That's what gives you fucking cancer, isn't it? I've heard the kiwi fruit one. What, kiwi gives you cancer? Yeah. Apparently, kiwi fruit gives you cancer. I was like, oh, well, that's the new one. <laughs> but Fuck's sake, you won't be able to eat, not soon. Yeah. Yeah, it's worrying. Look at Sean, just quiet, uh, getting stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Into his falafel burger. Got also, you got a curry there as well? Try them. What is it, a curry? Potatoes. Well, it's a sign bread, isn't it? I only eat like proper brown bread. Not a white bun, it's like a waste, isn't it? It's a waste of your stomach consumption. Oh, goodness, it's taken out of it so it's preserved. Yeah. Rich? White bread? White bread, yeah. There's no goodness in bread. No. What goodness is in bread? Nothing. The only really. goodness from it is it's carbohydrates. Do you have bread much? Do you have bread much? I eat bread all the time. I don't, you see. I'm just not really a fan I don't eat bread, I eat balms. Ah, balms. <laughs> no, balm cakes. Mm. Yeah. So instead of going to the shop and buying a loaf, I'll buy balm cakes. Mm. I don't know why. They just taste better when they're toasted than that. <laughs> God, it's quite hot. Yeah. It's like blowing my mind. I can't get my words out. I do. Yeah. Don't get my words out. I need I'm someone to up. jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's popular now. When I do a training video, the amount of attention I get to it yeah, and the amount of views it gets. Money, mate. It's a definite money maker. If, I, if I could set up, if I could set up the channel, add someone to do me training, <clears throat> and then set up a Zoom for about 25 people, yeah. where 25 people in their house can be trained off me. 
That's the way I was going. But I just get knocked off my path by all the rats. I just keep on getting knocked. I get onto things, start flying in it, and then I'll just get attacked. But they, they can't really stop you doing that, because if you've just got the computer and the people willing to sign up to be trained by you... I know, but it's, it's just been networking again. It's like now, I've got all the software to stream on YouTube, but I don't know how to copy the link and transfer it over. So just little things like that I can't do. What can, what can we help him with, James? So what about if you do a pre-recorded workout and you sell that? I could sell that. Yeah. Look, you know what I wanted to do? You know what I wanted to do, mate? A fitness DVD for Christmas. Yeah, DVDs dead now. You said you've got to sell links. Or streaming, streaming uh, videos. But I'm, I'm bossing me training. I do different types of training so people latch on to me straight away. So you make a video, but you're not printing DVDs, you just sell it online. No, I, sell, I sell videos online. Do you? Uh, you no, know, Vimeo. But why don't you do a video with me and sell it on your thing? Yeah, yeah. Because Vimeo, Vimeo take 10% commission. And you, you can... Now we'll split a 50-50. No, and you can do... You can make a video, do a whole series, and when you do podcasts, just say, look, here's the link. If you yeah. want to get fit... Look, if you want to, if you want to do that and make that come to fruition, I'll do it with you 100%. Yeah, okay, and so we go 50-50 down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. You can even go... You can even do this if you want, if you've got the time. Set a YouTube channel up. Call it train fit elite yeah. and we'll just keep it going about training me okay. you training consistently it's in your name you get it monetized yeah. you get the money coming in all you do is give me a percentage that could be huge that could be a huge thing couldn't it what's that the whole thing oh yeah it'll be massive the oh, amount of knowledge dear. i've got in training and the way i train the way i look i take that. my top off i've got a People appreciate it straight away, you're on it because I'm ripped to fuck. Yeah, so I, I've got a marker straight away. And everyone wants to get fit and, and get healthy. And it's the right time. The Christmas period, everyone backs off. Yeah, yeah. They come into the new year wanting to get fit. So if we've, if we've got a collection of 15 warehouse ready to go for the 1st of January, yeah. we'll be selling them like that. Bam, bam, bam. Can you, like, right, so maybe you did something for TV, so I can get onto streaming platforms in America. It needs to be TV, a TV format, so you want like half hour episodes. Yeah. So you could work out like a half hour. What episode. would do, lad? You, you can just come to me and say, we need six hours footage. Even if you're here for three days, every morning we'll go in the gym and we'll do that, 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 that. Proper intense workout on it. Yeah. But um, you do all your editing. You've got the YouTube channel. All I'm doing basically is turning up, training for you, and getting off. Yeah. You're doing the rest, and you give me a wage off it. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. That's the yeah, so basically, that so basically, yeah. so basically, you'll be paying me so to work for you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Everything will be yours, but I'll be the face of it. Could you get any people that you train, so you can interact with people? So you're. I'll get, I can pull someone into train with them yeah. okay. and do a session with someone. And you've got access to a gym. We'll go to any gym. I'll just buy you a membership and go in there. Right. Okay. You know what I mean. Yeah, because that, that, that could be big. It'll smash it. It will be big. It definitely will be big. That's no way it's all but. And then, do you know all about like nutrition? And... I know the lot. I'm fully qualified up, mate. So I'm level three, fitness and exercise. Level two, sports injury. Level level two, special diets. Level two, nutritionist. Level two, everything. So could you, like... Because you're, like, you're probably like full-on workout person, aren't yeah. you? So could you do easier exercises that people can pick up? I can, I can give you an intense version yeah. and a non-intense version. So like, yeah. Yeah, start, I can give you a strong medium. version, I can give you a weaker person's version. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can right. do it all. That will sell, but then there's variety for people. Especially even getting paid for it yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Because everyone interested in sort of getting healthy and, uh, they want to know where you start and how to start the thing to then go on to these tents yeah what you can do on if you've got a profile you can have instructional videos yeah. you can have um, you know nutritional videos speak about yeah. protein speak about there's loads you can tap into yeah. and i've already got online i've already got people onto me for my fitness so right. they just jump right onto that 
can publicise and it through all the YouTube channels. Uh, you can do it like your drive traffic to the. Um, don't forget, with, with Sean, uh, with Jenny, they will all get fed. He's all want to come on board with this fitness thing. He's can, oh, and then we'll all get fed. I'd love to do a workout with him. I'll do a workout with you. Well, I'm gonna have little, little weight. <laughs> Doesn't matter, but we can get him on it one Check session. Yeah. We can get another podcaster on it, like Lazar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can just bring it <laughs> Not in. Not every period, because I've got a flat ass. So I need to work on that, man. <laughs> 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 I, need, I need some serious work. <laughs> So one person could be an episode. Yeah. Could, like, have a... And obviously I'll be in contact with you clothing. Let's get that sorted. And you could be wearing that all the fucking time, plugging that. You know what? The opportunity. The, op the opportunity that surrounds me is massive. Yeah. But I haven't got the network to take it forward. Well, we have. So when I've, when I've got someone like him coming through and I'm saying, would you take the whole thing and just give me a wage off it? Yeah. Sorted. I'm happy like that. I just, that's what you do. I'm happy like that. And it will, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch your mentality, and that's basically that's, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, everyone wins. Everyone, 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 everyone eats at the table, and everyone goes home happy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. Have you got a phone number, by the way, that we can take? I'll probably not put that on here. So, yeah, we don't want the whole of YouTube contact. No. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, let, we'll edit that out. Right, so we'll type it in there. good comments. Just watch this afternoon's podcast. So we'll get loads of these. Just watch this afternoon. It was shit hot. And when I said it was shit, I thought, yeah. oh. No, it was shit hot noon. It was shit hot. Good to see you all laughing and clear in the air. Keep up the great work. See, these are the real people. Yeah, chuck it in. I'll give you a one ring. I'll have to read some of the comments now on that video. Quite nice, isn't it? I'm really lucky, Salad. Not really a fan of rice, though. Rice? I don't really like rice. I find it's a bit like the bread theory. It's a bit pointless to me. I must have forgotten my number. Right. What is it? Let me check my number. Double check. Type it in. I don't want it anywhere. No. So we we'll have to edit out. And with Darren now, Ash, absolutely amazing podcast today. Already loads of brilliant feedback, comments coming in. We smashed it. Started to think about how to edit the program. Mate, he's got you've got a big deal. Have you not got to edit? Yeah, I do. Maybe I get a signal. Oh no, I've got no signal. Are you on flight mode? No, I don't know. It's just why have you got no signal then? I don't know. What are you on? Right. Where's it? Uh, Let me nice. type it in again, pass it in, and I'll, I'll WhatsApp you. So when I do get signal, how bizarre. Let me see if I can get some. <laughs> That's one hot chip. <laughs> right. Oh, I've got signal now, so I'll just type mine in. Jenny was getting a gash out on that. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I've got your number now. Mine's just save it in. I'll just type mine in. And I'll forward it to James and Sean if you want. And then You're eating this? No I haven't. J James might get jealous. I'll oh, come then. <laughs> I've seen him then he's all the way. He's eating me fucking shit. He's fork, he's fork is ready then. <laughs> I'll go with I'll forge you these contact then. Yeah, normally, at home, I normally clear up everyone's face. James is like a vacuum. He's showing you one. He's showing you one now. Don't you want? Where are you, James? Is that what they call you, the Hoover? <laughs> Does your wife cook when you get back? No, I can't really do it. Mm. Yeah. We've got a bit of funny family because we all uh, eat different food. Hi, Ryan. I'm going to read this one so it'll be on the video. This is great. Um, Piper, no, pa Pager. Pay per view. 
You have to respect two men putting their differences aside and clearing shit up, man. It's a man face to face. Nobody's perfect. One thing I can say about what he's passionate about of interviews, talks about us uh, losing our shit in laughter in talk with tug of war. Darren is passionate in his own way also. You never know what the fuck he's going to say or if he's going to kick off, but it's real. That's his real personality. He's not making up some character like a lot of people are trying to do. Amen. He's, just, he's nailed it, though. Genuine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The real of folk view always does. <coughs> Damn, I liked James English. Thought he was a decent fellow until now. <laughs> there's loads of that, he said. There's loads of people turning on him, you know. Yeah, about time. Shall I take this off? I'm sure you don't want to hear me. No. Still English doesn't represent Glasgow. Thank you. I've been told, mate, as soon as he steps foot up there, he's in danger. Yeah. So whether that's true or not, I don't know, but there's a lot of Glaswegians not happy with him, though. He's a rat me for what he done. Yeah, yeah, all those murders rat, he's rat, fucking linked to. Yeah, yeah. Are you full? It was just too off in my mouth, lad. Like. Mm. I don't eat much anyway, you are. I'll yeah. eat later on. Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm in Spain, I eat of an evening. Mm. No, like a late evening. Yeah. You get all these things you shouldn't eat before you go to bed. That's nonsense. Mm. Just don't eat too much. Yeah. Oh, that's the tip. Don't, don't overeat. Don't eat too much. Right. Right. Now you get people. Don't don't go to sleep. Don't on a full stomach. Yeah. Your body's working when you are asleep. Your food's still being digested. That's why you wake up with a dry mouth yeah. in the morning because your body's still working. Still what, do. What I do is I, I have a big big lunch and then try not to eat anything later on. But is it best to avoid having well, a big lunch? Humans are always going to need. Yeah. What are they? <coughs> Three things that humans always need. Sleep. What else? Oh, uh, food, water, food. sleep. Food, drink, funeral parlours. <laughs> <laughs> Everlasting businesses. Well, if, you, if you get a food outlet with enough foot pack, it, I would say the only two things certain in life is death and taxes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we'll take that to QC finish. <laughs> right, we, we were thinking, James was thinking we, we film we uh, goodbye downstairs. Oh, yeah, do you want to do Do whatever we're doing now. Oh, it's been, I was just saying to Sean, it's been such a good day. I've had so much fun. Uh, it's really, really cool. Thank you. Well, no, 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 Thanks, Sean. No one expected. No one expected. I think any of them did. We just no, like turn up and see what happens. Yeah, be honest. Which is, which is cagey, though. Was you thinking, right? This could go drastically fucking wrong. I think, I think both part, both of you were a little bit worried that it might be something it's not. Like I a was setup. When, the, when, when the time was going. Yeah. Because uh, you were like, where right. are you? I was like, oh, M6, but the traffic honestly was. The close the most way down. I'm standing there in the crowd, looking at. Is fucking there anyone watching me? Yet? Oh shit. <laughs> oh man, fuck. Because I'm, I'm the type to get there half an hour before and scope it. Yeah. yeah. And watch who's arrived. We had our so guy there uh, three hours before. He's scoping <laughs> it. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> walked past <laughs> each other. <laughs> 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 yeah, what does he know? What's he saying? He's not paying. Decline. Do you want another one? Could you please uh, just go to the counter because this one uh, is just not uh, oh, able no. to connect. The internet, oh. your internet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no worries, no, counter's fine, counter is fine. Man is a boss. Thanks for the scan as well, Sean. Oh, you're welcome. I hope, you, I hope you take this photo. Yeah, yeah. Page. I hope okay. it's a fitness page, yeah. If you, if you can call it Train Fit Elite. Yeah, let's search All right, mate, I've got to pay you yet, the counter. I've sent him your number. Um, I've sent it right yeah, yeah, delicious. Never been here It'd be before. Really good. I'll, we'll, yeah, I'll I like the background as well, the colours. You, yeah. you can tap yeah. into it as well. Yeah. I'll wear it, wear the yeah. women's yeah. wear and look you wear the men's. I'll wear it while I'm training. Maybe do an episode as well. You can train. And then I'm going to have a section for the Five Alive put on my website. I can build that myself. Oh, oh crap. I can build that myself. So, yeah, yeah that's not an issue. Uh, What's good with all the YouTube stuff is you just have the links below. Well, we're just all connecting, you know what I mean? We're all out to get a word out, get ourselves out there. It's a if fucking just, good if way, mate. If, if, if you know? just go with the flow, not on go wrong. Be positive. Not on go wrong. If you just get on the flow and remain on it, it'll all, 
fall into place with us. I'm going to kill him. And haters going to hate, potatoes going to potato, and alligators going to alligator. Time, the only time it'll go wrong is when, is when like, someone's being on stream. But look how we're, we're now, you know, in, well, I obviously didn't have any beef with you, but now you're in conformance with him. It was just, you know, just fuck, fuck James English. Uh, fuck what? Fuck the less they hate get crew. mentioned, the better. Fucking, yeah. But the I think it needs to be stopped. Done, it's fucking unreal. Yeah. Honestly, God, since but James they, English they've, done, they've done their worst, let them fuck off. Because like you said, we know they've James' done their worst, secrets. And, and they've reached their pinnacle. Yeah. That's what's good about all this. They've got to the top they're ever going to get. They can't go no further. No. So it's all downhill for them. Exactly. So it's all downhill for them And when now. they keep slating us and all that, people will get bored of it. And they'll be like, fuck Different them. levels, innit? Oh, I need to get some just different levels. That's, that's the end of it. Why? So, setting you up? Yeah, yeah. They want, a, they want a dip photo or they want something like that. They'll never get one. They'll make you out to be a fucking... Yeah. Well, that's the next thing. That The only yeah. thing they can do to me now is make a doctored fucking picture. Yeah. That's the last thing they can do to me. Everything else they tried and I've got through it. Yeah. The last thing they did is invent something from fucking nowhere. He's got page three girls trying to set him up as well. Yeah, try and get, I, don't try and get... I don't know whether they decide to set me up. Do Try and get a dick pic. You want a dick picture or something, don't they? So yeah. Just, just, just then they say it's like a sex case or something. Like they're doing with Decca now. Yeah, yeah, like they did, they did this with Decca. Yeah. They're doing it currently with Decca right now. Oh, should we turn these off? Well, we're all packed in like a tin of sardines, Jenny's saying. we finished the interview. We're on our, we're in New Street now. We're going to get some food and then we're going to say our goodbyes. It's been a boss day. I've enjoyed myself. And that's what it's all about, the Real Crime, Real Time podcast, moving forward. Peace out, L5 shout. Right then, so we're going to get back to the south. Interesting deck. Well, Sean, can yeah. <laughs> <Look, laughs> Once fun. again, me, Thank I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry you've sorry added about to the, the stress. As well. yeah, yeah, cheers. Thanks, Jen. Lovely meeting you. Lovely to meet you. And you, James. Nice. nice We've nice had a boss day Darren. today. We've had a boss day today. Sean's fed me. We've had a deep conversation. Everything I've said that's in a bad light towards Sean, I regret and retract. He's not a rat. He shouldn't be called Ratwood. If you want to call him any sort of nickname, call him Fatwood. And, <laughs> and Jenny will tell you why. Not his belly. Oh! <laughs> 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 On that note. <laughs> Take care. Lovely See you soon. Travel safe. Oh, cheers again, man. Much love and respect. Yeah. Oh, no, no, here you go. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking cold cups! Get me out of here! <laughs> well, there you are, people. We've got Darren G, Sean Atwood, and Jenny here. What's Jenny's surname? It's Hopkins. Jenny Hopkins is here. <laughs> so, long time overdue. Sean's been up here for a few hours now with his team. We've been in the New Street train station this morning, it's where I met him. Got the train to Selly Oak, and then we've come into them at my gaff in Selly Oak. We're here now, she's had a bit of a problem with the camera, but it's all sorted now, it's a bit scatty because it's a bit messed up, but we're here. We've got the man himself, Sean, we've got the woman herself, Jenny, and we've got James over there, the, the handy candy man. <laughs> so where do we start? People are kicking in. What's going on here? <laughs> Ask us anything. Anyway, it's a live feed, so if you've got questions, get them onto us and we'll do what we can. Use members in there, you get prioritised. So we're here. <laughs> And we're starting to move into like the interviewing phase of the day, aren't we? Yeah, go for it. So, um, where should we start? Let's start with... With Jen's arrest? No! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, have a, let's have a little talk yeah, about you, Jen, because yes. people need to know you, don't they? So, um... so, are you blonde naturally or have you dyed your hair? Oh, dyed. Through so, and she's, she's not a... <laughs> so she's not a blonde no. bimbo. So, definitely Hang not on, a blonde bimbo. Hang on, let's just see if these can hear me. Can you hear me there, people? Can anyone let on to us, let us know if you're hearing me? They're not even listening to me, are they? <laughs> Maybe there's a delay. There is a delay. Ring guys up, keep it well, yeah. All right, lad. Yes, yes, yes. 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 You can hear yes. me. Oh, I do. So we'll crack on then. So, yep. how old are you, Jenny? I'm 33. So you're quite young. Quite young. Well, 33 is young, isn't it? Thank you. How old are you? I'm 42. Fuck off. 
I thought you were, yeah, late 30s. Easy. I wish. Look at her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> See the eyes on her there? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. So, yeah, so you're, you're 33. So I've got an organic clothing company. And organic. You brought, you brought some. Yep, up. I bought, bought you a hoodie, obviously. Nice black one. Well, there you go, people. We've got organic cotton hoodie from Jenny. What's the range called? It's called Boomer and Jen, but it is organiccottonclothing.co.uk. Check it out. Boomer and Jen. You got a little Boomer leaf on the front. That'll Instagram come off in the wash. Well. Yeah, on Insta it is at Boomer underscore Jen. So at B-O-O-M-E-R underscore J-E-N. And there's links to my businesses on there. Well, I like a good um, hoodie. Good. Sean's got one in blue. At the same me. time, yeah. in blue. Faces. Yeah, yeah. Quality they are, so Quality. I'm happy I've got that. Obviously, if you want some, <laughs> if you want some of my stuff, you can go to www.elfarboriginal.com. I'll have a look. So you've been arrested how many times? Oh, then? quite a few. Um, so yeah, I think what people want to know is who the hell am I? I'm Sean's new co-host. Right. So, so this Sean's new co-host. How, how did you become employed, or or was your friends? I'm fucking brilliant. <laughs> I'm fucking good <laughs> and quick. Well, it, it, I must say that it makes the chemistry better. Doesn't yeah. it? You know, instead of having two stone cold men, yeah. it's nice Rolling to have out. a little bit of tits on the platform. Definitely. <laughs> Without Definitely. being rude. Without being rude. You know Can't what I'm say. saying, people, innit? Yeah. So we move on. What was your arrests? Oh, it's all sorts of bits and bob, isn't it? The most recent one What's was. What's the worst? Well, the most stupid, stupid one is the uh, one in Israel. Recently, last year, I got arrested in Israel, <laughs> put in the cell, <laughs> fighting in the streets. Well, not fighting, arguing, but... Um, what were you doing in Israel? On holiday. Are you a Jew? Are Tel Aviv, Jewish? no, it's all trendy and, you know, oh, Eurovision. Oh, it's just good over there. Yeah, yeah, good. Look, it's all fucking gay men and dogs in the centre there. Yeah, That's yeah, weird. covered. That's and then you go down the road to Jerusalem and it's, you know, obviously nothing on go like going on around there. So, yeah, interesting. Mad, yeah. Why were you fighting in the streets? I was arguing with my ex-partner, the lawyer. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, so you had, you, you, you had, you had this, this lawyer and this organic clothes maker arguing in, in Israel? In the streets. And they just... Are you still with the um, lawyer? No, 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 no. That ended uh, as soon as lockdown lifted, I was off. He's so. not a guy who likes to hit women, is he? Mm, we'll, we'll say no more. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so he does then. There's oh, lots God. of men. There's lots of men out there that thinks it's okay to lay their hands on women. Some do it because they've seen their dad doing it most of their lives. Some do it because they're just horrible, nasty bastards like English. And others do it because they're drunk and on drugs. Bottom line is you shouldn't be hitting no woman. Doesn't oh. matter what she's doing to you. You can push them off, you can push them down. You do not tense your fist or slap them because you're a nonce in my books. And people are sick of calling me, people are sick of me calling them nonces, aren't they? But I don't care. <laughs> At least you're honest. So, Sean's got a lovely partner on board. It, it's only going to make the show better. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? having that energy. Obviously. In the room. Yeah. Definitely. We've got Sean here. I can see the shit going through his brain right now. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't know what's going to come out of my mouth, and neither do I. But I'm not here, I'm not, I'm not here to target Sean. He's not going to pull a Marvin. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that type of lying, lying rat that's going to manipulate the masses to lock in. To, watch me expose him and then don't expose him. Let me put it straight, there's nothing to expose him about. In the first place, there was nothing to expose him about. We, I've been, I'm naive, I'm into the podcasting world. I've given you my theory, I'm naive, I'm into the podcasting world. I get surrounded by, without me knowing, Sean's enemies, meaning the f from Glasgow. So, <laughs> I've given my trust, I've opened up to him, oh, I'm going in with him. Um, I'm jumping onto his narrative towards Sean and it goes fucking chat. wrong. It goes wrong. So... Someone asked if that was your real Facebook account. Why have you got a lot of fakes on there? Yeah, I've got loads, man. Yes, the coggers. Hope you're good, mate. Sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just, um, I'm just trying to have a nice conversation with Sean, so don't think I'm, don't think I'm blocking you or nothing. And I'm not ignoring the viewers. I'm just pulling the chat up so I can see what you're saying. Oh, can you get that up there? Yeah, yeah, because it's, it it's, it's live on your uh, channel, isn't it? I'll go grab my phone. Darren's channel. Anyway, let's get back onto the let's get back onto the topic. If you can ignore the comments, so ignore. should we start with how why you two are in the room today? Yeah. yeah. So why are you two in the room today? I'm here for a number of reasons to support Darren's choose a life, not a life, choose a life, not a life <laughs> campaign to help him with collaborations and also to restore 
my fucking reputation that was damaged by someone who caused mass manipulation but denied it recently and huge thank you to Darren for putting out the paperwork which has just been published on my channel this morning all the paperwork all the messages from that person trying to tell Darren I had nasty charges trying to get Darren to believe that so he would unleash on me and and that person denied doing that that person denied doing that and now Darren has come out, he's kept all these records for years, he's come out and he's produced the paperwork, it's now indisputable. And that's why I'm now calling for James English to issue me an apology. If James English will issue me an apology for the defamation he caused, two or three hours video, it got half a million views within weeks, 10,000 subscribers lost right away, I'm still getting death threats and messages to this day, because of the games James English was played and he denied and now it's proven 100% by Darren's paperwork I'm calling for James English to issue me an apology video and if he does so if he's man up to accept that he did that because we've put the paperwork out this morning on the channel if he's man enough to accept he did that and he will he will fucking apologize I'll drop the lawsuit against him and we can move on if he's just gonna put out another video recycling bullshit and claiming this and that then we are ready to step it up to the next level I have never ever fucking attacked James English I still watch his podcast to this day he's attacked me twice now massive attacks twice almost a million views I've got a video ready to go James English exposed detailing everything he did for his conviction the thing he is shit scared to talk about the thing Darren has been asking him to talk about for years and he won't do it so if he wants to go there, if he wants to launch another massive attack against me, we will be launching our first attack against him with this video. So you make your mind up, James. That's going to go on my main channel. You make your mind up. You've done this twice to me now on your main channel. I've just took it and tried to defend myself and my reputation, which you fucking destroyed with a lot of people. Do you want me to, to launch... A major attack on you on my main channel and you can see how that fucking feels yourself now, otherwise let, let's jump in let's jump in Sean all that all that there could have been done on your own platform you've decided to do it on my platform for whatever reason oh, no, I'm getting carried away I'm sorry I'm not, Darren. I, I'm not bothered I'm getting carried away it is away. what it is lad I'm not it's, it's childish it's childish you, honestly you'd have, you'd have to get it out you've had to get it out it get, is what it is you get in this war mode and you start getting childish I know, I know. it kicks in I, you get, I'm you always fucking... there you've seen me I always, yeah, yeah, I yeah. always start going off track away. The, the bottom line is this um, I think it's coming out the truth. The truth always prevails. Yeah. Always. Yeah. I've always, I've been quiet for over a year because I, I haven't concentrated on my YouTube, so I haven't really defended myself. Yeah. The minute I've noticed my YouTube's picking up again, I've started defending myself. I haven't even finished defending myself. So when you're seeing, they're not screenshots. That's the message screen recorded as it's going along. Right. Do you want, I'll show you it in a minute. I'll yeah, get on my yeah. phone. I'll show you the real yeah. original. So I'll show you it now if you want. Anyway. I'm just starting to go through all the shit I've been fed over two years. Right. You know, I've got a backlog of documents. I've got a backlog of messages. Right down to Snitchy Bum. His first initial message to me, licking my bum, begging me for a podcast. All this. Yeah. That's all going out. I've got to start defending myself. I've been quiet for two years. I'm being writ off by yourself as well. You wrote me off a few times as well. I've never said a bad word about you, Darren. I know you've even when all, even when all that was happening, I was saying I fully support you. Yeah, you yeah. did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's it it what I I'm not going on it. The bottom line is the book went missing, went yeah. missing for time. I events I done a podcast, with James English. You get on me for the podcast and tell me you give me the book. Yeah. We do the podcast. I got the book. We're off, and then that's it. I don't hear from you for a while. Yeah, and that's why I apologise to you with Deck, and I apologise to you yeah, again yeah. now. I, yeah, I've accepted yeah, that. Yeah, I've yeah. fully accepted that, and I fully accept my my part in this harassment towards you. I've told you last time. I am sincerely sorry for labelling you, for labelling you all this derogative comments that I've made towards you. I sincerely apologise about them. I've give you this nickname, like I give people nicknames and they end up stuck with them. So now you've got people calling you Ratwood, mm -hmm. which is not nice because you're not a rat. You never ratted on me. I don't know your associates whether you've ever ratted on them. But from my experience, you got off with the book,
but that way in a rat move. Do you understand what I mean? A, yeah, a rat yeah. move stabbing you in the back type thing. This way in a rat move, it was a clear mistake. Because I'm fresh out of jail, I've got the mindset on me and I'm just thinking, bang, I'm not having this. Yeah, of course. And it escalated. James English got into me. He had his own ulterior motives. He had his own thing. Every time I'm meeting him, he's pumping shit in about you. Yeah. I'm getting caught up in this, but I'm passionate about this as well. Yeah, yeah. So when you're seeing me ranting, going, rah, 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 that's my passion. Yeah, it's not me just being paranoid and popping on you. No. I've received a week's worth of bullshit off this rat, and eventually I just go, you know what, I've got to say something about this. Yeah. It's that passion is why so many people watch you. Well, I'm real as fuck. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'll apologise, mate. If I'm yeah. wrong, I'll apologise. Mm -hmm. That horrible cunt won't. Why? Because he's been screaming his fucking head off for, for the last year. Why do you think he's doing it, though? Just he, more views? Click? No, basically, he got promised a very lucrative... Um, a very lucrative offer if he was to damage certain individuals and send the traffic towards other individuals. So them individuals could put out there that um, certain individuals are like cake. There's nothing wrong with them. They've never committed a crime. They're involved in boxing and all they've ever done for me was goodness. But on the other hand, they're killing families around the corner. So that's what we can't tolerate. Yeah. And we've got the new energy of Jen. Well, you've got Jenny on board. Yeah, fuck the trolls. <laughs> 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 Je 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 Jenny's on board <laughs> with a blonde eye, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. So, Sean, where do we go from here, mate? What do I want to ask you? I want to ask you about him. Um... So, you said when, on the invite to here, you said you wanted to interview me for it was the first podcast or something you were yeah. going to do. You've got questions about my story in America. But, but, but I'm not interviewing you, I'm interviewing the two years. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's not that, it's, you know, it's, but I'll yeah, go into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. go into the America it's Questions charge. about America, yeah. When did you first go to America? Had you committed a crime in this country? No. While never. Man, while man was committing the crimes. Yeah. But you never, you've never been arrested in this country before no, that? No, I was, the, I was the nerdy business graduate and while man was the maniac. So, so you, you were the money, he was the muscle? I was the brains. Basically, two M's. Yeah, yeah. It was that Pet Shop Boys. We used to sing it to each other. Yeah. You've got the brains, <laughs> I've got the brawn. Let's make some money. We well, did, we used to sing it all what time. I, what I notice a lot of the time, Sean, is when you're speaking about a while, yeah. you get very emotional. Yeah, and yeah. I, and I know, I know it takes a lot to get over that through the day. So we can just shift past Wildman. Okay. So you don't get emotional. I'm just feeling it now. I can see yeah, it. That's yeah, why I want to. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I want to knock it on its head. Okay. Okay. I, sh I showed. I've given you that case, haven't I? Where is the case? Oh yeah. See ya. I see ya. Now let me get this out. People will remember this from my live feed. It was on my bike. It's called Wildman. It's coincidence. I bought this before Wildman passed too, and I sort of rubbed it in in Sean's face when we were in seeing eye to eye. So what I've done today is given me. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's just a little memento. It's going to go on my shelf in my studio room. Well, that's what um, I'm saying. And, and you can room. put stuff in it. Yeah. Stuff in it. Doesn't yeah. matter you know, what you've ever done with them, just leave yeah. them in there for life. Some you red dots. Have, <laughs> well, you must you have things of his. I'll have to speak to his missus and Hammy. Yeah, get get yeah, some yeah, of his, yeah, lad, yeah, and yeah, put yeah, them yeah. in there. Nice cement it. Yeah. Seal it with cellophane and bury yeah. it in your garden. Yeah, appreciate that, man. No, Thank you. do something like that. That's what I'd do. R.I.P. Wild Man. Yeah, rest yeah, in yeah, peace, yeah. wild man. I know I said a few derogative things towards you, but my mind weren't in the he right. Would, he would have laughed, Alan. Yeah. Nothing would have affected him. Yeah. You could say anything about him, he would have laughed, and he would have just joked right back. That's what he was like. He spent his life getting rises out of snowflakes. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Getting so, out of snowflakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's jump back to America, Sean. Okay. Uh, First time in jail in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go into America, you get arrested. I'm not asked what you're arrested for. You go into Ecstasy. custody. You go yeah. into the custody. Mm -hmm. What's the process in American prison? What is the process when you're landing reception and you're going into the procedure of prison? The process. There's a, there's a plexiglass window, right? And there's a little lady and she yells at you. She's got this form and she yells at you fucking lice. Scabies, hepatitis C, <laughs> fucking AIDS. So <laughs> all the illnesses that you could have. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah, asking yeah. you if you got them. Yeah, she's yeah, going, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, and this is, the, and then they put you in. Um, it's called the horseshoe. It was run, run by a famous sheriff called Sheriff Joe Arpaio. It's subterranean, and it's in a horseshoe sh shape of cells. And you're in there for a couple of days while you see the judge. 
and you don't know what time of day it is or anything. So in these cells, a cell's about as big as this room, and everyone is just sardined in like crazy. Yeah. Some guy takes a shit. Everyone pulls up like this. Oh, by then, the guards as well, they've, they've took your belts off you, they took your shoelaces and everything. So you've got the new arrestees. So it's similar yeah. to this process? Yeah. So when you come here, the first thing you do is sit down with a nurse, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Then they strip all your shit. So it's the same process, it's just more brutal over there, isn't it? Yeah, because like... No human rights in the The, the new arrestees, has got like gangbangers in there, fucking West Side Crips and, you know, 48th Street Bloods and all this shit. you got the homeless people. You got people who've been in fights with the cops, tasered up and shit. It's fucking mental, the horseshoe, and you just don't, can you imagine, can't possibly yeah. get to sleep for yeah. a couple of days. It's like a remand centre. Yeah, yeah. Induction wing. Yeah. People kicking doors for fucking meds and shit. Yeah, yeah, people like that. So if you start kicking the door in there, they've got like a medieval torture device called a restraint chair. They've got them in this country. Yeah, and then they put a spit hood on you. You get shackled into this thing, and they put a spit hood on you. Yeah, and you got just, that in this country. When you're going through it, there's people like this. Just rocking in these fucking spit huds, just making these noises and everything. It's like somehow they've, they've got that in yeah. for when people have spice attacks. Right. So yeah. in the prison now, they've invented this chair. So when people are going under on the spice, they'll come on with this chair. Yeah, yeah. Get them, yeah. put them in the chair, strap them in place, strap them head, strap yeah. them to the chair like that. Yeah. Put a spit thing over mm -hmm. them and then take them. And they're like fucking this in the and chair, see, making all these yeah, noises. Yeah, you see them three days ah! later. You, you see them three days later, traumatized. Yeah. Looking for spice. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't help them at all, it's yeah. In America, they give them Thorazine. What's that like? It's like, like a medication. So, oh. like, at the pill call, they go and get the Thorazine, and there's something called a Thorazine shuffle, where they're all just fucking yeah, coming, got it, coming got back it like this, just walking like this, all fucking fucked up on it. It's exactly the same. Yeah. You see what you see in the prison system in this country, you know, when, you know what, like, half 11, half the wing is getting treatments. Yeah. Medication of some sort. Yeah, yeah. Normally opiate based. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're all opiate based, cold cold. It's all, all about this. Yeah. It's the the US military is the biggest user of prescripts, and then the, the US prison system is the second biggest. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Billions it's mad, and isn't billions it? of fucking dollars. You no, know, it's the same yeah. in this country. I think we're just following America. Definitely. So you, it's all so the same in, contracts. You go into the American prison system. So, you I'm, piss your pants? so, so I'm going through the whole. <laughs> I'll we'll be honest, did you piss your pants? Wild man got arrested with us. Yeah. So, right. So when you're half all right. When we're, get, when we're getting out of the van, the, they got the women co-defendants out first. There was 13 in our first group of co-defendants. So they get the women out first. Wild woman is there. She's fucking tough as fuck. But all the new arrestees are outside and they're all male. So they turn around, they see the women. They start yelling, get your tits out and shit. Give, giving the women hassle. So I'm watching wild man on the van. Whenever wild man's gonna do something, his eyebrow goes like this, it just goes all the way up to here. So I'm thinking, oh fucking hell, what's he gonna do? So he's on the top step of the van, all the women, all this flack is coming down on the women from the, these guys. The cop yells at him, get down off the fucking step. He doesn't get down, he just stands on the top step. He's like six foot two, 28 stone, shoulders up here. He's got this Vikings beard. He's been up for, for days on crack and meth, red eyes. He just cocks his head up like this, looks at all the men in his chains. He goes, hey, you lot, disrespecting our women. We're all going to be in here together in a minute. I'll have any fucking one of when we get behind those fucking walls. They all shut up. Mm. <laughs> he must have been intimidating. He mate. was fucking intimidating. <laughs> and to land in a prison and be vocal like that, yeah. automatically people are going to think, wow, he, this he kid's a fucking crackpot. He went towards danger, didn't he? he was saying. Wherever there was danger, he would go towards it. That joke you cracked on the train, that was him. He would have said exactly the same. Yeah. If I go to a place thinking I've got a movie part, there's 20 guys in there ready to time you up, he'd be like, yeah, yeah so that's my yeah. dream come true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, I, I haven't really mentioned the movie part the way I have to use before, yeah. but obviously, people, I've got, a, I've got an opportunity to get a part in a film, which is tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you where or what, but it's going to be a powerful film when it's done. It's got Coronation Street and Hollyoaks axes in there. So, hopefully, a few gates will open from that little project I'm being invited to. At the moment, we've got... 490 people on the live. Fucking hell, it's great, isn't it? This time of the day. Yeah, well, it's good for me. We've got uh, Mark Wiley, Sheriff Joe Aprio, is one of the most strict governors in the States. Tony wants Darren's knob. Don't That's be fucking boss of the jail, Sheriff Joe. Where <laughs> have you read that? Just there, Donkey Kong. <laughs> fucking Donkey Kong, lad. What are you playing on? You've got yourself hit. Well, I, th I think I've said before, haven't I? I said to you before, it's going, it's going to fly with a woman and man. Yeah, yeah. You know, with you and Wildman, it was a certain like level of 
But we're here, she's just bringing We've got Wild Woman uh, coming on, because we're off to Liverpool the Wild end of this month. Wild Woman is coming in the yeah. end of October. Well, she's just, the raw, she's just the raw scouser, his wife, she's isn't she? She's fucking hard as fuck. She, yeah, would, she, she would stab him and everything. But she's a, pro <laughs> but she's a proper scouser, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, she wouldn't you take think, any shit from anyone. She's a broad scouser, yeah. isn't she? Man, you, you've got to love a, you've got to love a, a, a real offered, scouse woman. I'm offered that, because um, I showed her that video of a certain other podcaster saying I'd made my story up and everything. She's like, made my ah, fucking story up. I wish I'd made the fucking story up. <laughs> all my well, fucking, all, all my fucking fa <laughs> All them have made stories up, haven't you? Uh, what you've got to understand with me, Sean, is this, mate. Mm. Um, I will not deal with anything to do with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. You're a rat. Anyone that, anyone that um, has given people a platform to damage me in the last two years, yeah, I will never them. interact with them, yeah. ever. And that's why you don't see me engaging with the podcasters the because they get, they're given platforms to liars. And the, when they're given platforms to these liars, yeah. it, it, people call me a liar, mm. but every podcast I've done, I've done nothing but spoke the fucking truth. Yeah. And I've got a story to back it. Yeah. And there's, there's enough evidence to back my story there. Yeah. When you're given a platform to a complete liar mm. and you know you're given this platform to that complete liar, mm. you're a piece of shit. Yeah. You're not only a piece of shit, you're damaging the podcasting infrastructure. Mm. We, we, we want podcasting to be true, yes. real. We want it to be truthful and everyone's looking into to hear truthful stories. Mm. We don't want to saturate them with dickheads who haven't got a story, mm. but they're inventing one just so they get clickbait. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's happened to me. I've just had a load of little vultures jumping on, chatting poo about me. Yeah. I haven't had the time to defend myself. Mm -hmm. I really didn't want to defend myself, yeah. you know what I mean? Most of the times I've left it. Now I'm starting to turn the heat up on them yeah. because these individuals that are targeting me, they're targeting me when they've been out on the Friday night on the coke mm. and they sat there of a weekend smashed up off drugs and drink and then yeah. they target me like a mm. These are just young lads with drug addictions get off the face of a weekend and, and go sick Monday to Friday against everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean on the come down? In the long run, they'll burn out. Yeah. The, will you see in it? Yeah. They're burning out. Mm -hmm. They're fucking, they're all burnt out. They're all yeah. fighting with each other. They're scared to get on camera with each other because it'll prove what's being getting told about them. Yeah. Do you understand what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will never see all them on camera in the same room, but they're always in the same room together. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's what's happened with me, basically. I've got, mm -hmm. a, I've, got a, I've got a fraternity of criminals from the city of Liverpool that are hell-bent on destroying me, and they're using the people they know they can to do it. The likes of the ones, these are still criminals. Yeah. These are still, still got and criminal still links. They're yeah, they're all active. Yeah. Don't think he's not active. Really? He's active in other ways. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I mean? It is what it is. I can just, I, I'm sick of putting shit out there where I'm getting told without having the evidence to back it. So I've stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. Right, but what I'm getting told about this creature is fucking disgusting. You know, he's getting off his face, he's smoking crack in Edinburgh. He's, he is what he is. He's just a horrible, manipulative piece of shit who invented a story. Do you know what we call them? Cretins. Cretins? <laughs> yeah, I love that word. Cretins. Well, isn't, that, isn't, isn't that a bun? Isn't, it, isn't a cretin a bun? No, cretin is like a... Cr crouton. Oh, a crouton. crouton. No. Oh, no. What's a crouton? Cr oh, there's these little, uh, oh, well, like, little pieces up, of bread yeah. you get croutons. in salads. Croutons. But, um, cretin, James, you know what a cretin is, don't like you? Like a moron. Yeah, yeah like a moron. Yeah, like a creature. Yeah, creature, cretin. Yeah. yeah. So we've we've touched on your jail a little bit, not much. <laughs> Everyone's heard your story, bro, haven't you? Yeah, I'm sick of telling it, to be honest. Well, it is what it is. At least you've got one to tell. Two. Oh, yeah. And that's what's important yeah. to you, the, getting the reality back into the podcasting worlds and stuff yeah. like this. We need real stories. We don't need stories with a bag of sugar thrown on top to make themselves look fucking explosive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Without 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 me without me being. Uh, like, I came out, I'd done a podcast, I'd been in a room, locked down, my emotions were raw, I was deep, I was on the edge of fucking exploding. I've gone onto that podcast with the rat, spoke out, and it was genuine. Yeah. What you've had since then is a lot of kids mimicking that. Yeah. Mimicking it. Like they've been told, do that, do that, do that, and it'll mm. fly. And that's what you've got now. You've got loads of kids just coming out of nowhere, going, rah, 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 rah. everyone's believing the story and following it. 
But there's that, no story. It's actually a compliment to you that they're doing that. But because there's no story, they 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 are burnouts. They're all burnouts, and that's that's where I'm sitting back watching all this happen. Because my because my message is all it's all about the message with me, mate. Yeah. I haven't heard a living for five years off the message. You know what I mean? When I listened to your live stream last night, the beginning of it, you t you were like getting out the message. You were doing a crime story. I was thinking that is what he needs to focus on. That was yeah. so fucking powerful. Yeah. When you're in that mode. Yeah. yeah. I've done that. Well, last night when I done the live. I purposely went through a few personalities. <laughs> you've seen them on the live, so yeah. you've got you've got me like the news broadcaster, mm -hmm. then you've got me fucking rapping, then you've got me dancing, and then you've got me back onto the crime. I'd love yeah. to hear you rapping. I'm a good rapper, so you've yeah. got you got me back on the you got me back onto the crime. So when I, when when I done the poll, do you want to do a rude song about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, shit. When I put when, when I put the poll out. YouTube's community guidelines. Oh shit! <laughs> there are things you can and cannot say. <laughs> yes, rolls, rolls, are not blanking, yeah. So um, the bottom line is. Let's uh, have a look at the chat now. How many we got? Five eighty. So 580. a lot, of, a lot of, um, a lot of people. Uh, so you want me to rap? Go on. Go on. I'll man. try. On. What do you want me to just do? A cappella. Yes, go for it. What What can I call you? Jen, because everything Jen, runs with that. Jen. I get really rude. Are you ready to? Are you re oh, fuck yeah. Close your legs. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> hey, she's opening her legs and that is. Bloody hell. <laughs> have, you just been, have you just been showing them your no, poo nanny? <laughs> showing the boots. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, what is that film where she does? The leg cross. Oh, uh, Fatal Attraction, is it? Pretty Woman. Yeah, yeah. or Pretty Woman. Isn't it? Or is, it's from that era. Yeah. I don't know, it's when yeah, Julia yeah. Roberts does that, doesn't she? Yeah, or, yeah. or Sharon Stone does that in yeah. Basic Instinct. Yeah. Oh, anyway, you're getting, you're getting me age here. Yeah. It's like when Britney, Britney was getting on the I don't really want to rap, because I'll end up giving you a slap. I might even kidnap, bang you over the bed, make your face go red, get round right and you rip off your sussy. How about that? Like it. See ya? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I won't go any further, I'll get you wet. <laughs> and then I'll make you sweat. Go on, look at that. So, so as you can see people, the chemistry between these two is on fire. It's gonna be gonna be an exciting watch. If you wanna if you wanna see these two together, I think you're gonna be delving into a lot of things, aren't you? Yeah, yeah we just put out Tug of War Part 2, which is on my channel, Tug of War Part 2. Jen is co-hosting. We just laugh all the way through it. The vibe is and just it's fucking... not fake laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and the comments are like, oh I hate this fake laughter. Unsubscribing. <laughs> <laughs> I must say though, lad, your laugh, your laugh, yeah. <laughs> and you you think you're gonna stop, but you're going. <laughs> I'm just thinking, fucking hell, Sean, lad, back up. <laughs> it's like people don't want to have a laugh, you know. We're all supposed to be serious. Everyone, yeah, everyone's scared to yeah. be themselves, basically on yeah. camera. Yeah. Everything's sort of scripted when you're watching. Everyone, it's sort of fucking scripted. Yeah. And now with you, you've just got this little bombshell just going, <laughs> you know, just so it's not scripted. <laughs> so it's good stuff. If, if you if you want to see the new direction, Sean. Obviously, it's going to be true crime. He's just approaching it from a different angle. Go and get on him. We're going to be doing well, all sorts, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're going to branch out. We've got a dominatrix coming on. Good. Well, I want to ask her some serious questions, man. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, Got an England football player coming on first. Might have coming on at some point. Um, well, hasn't she been on with you? No, that was the other. Yeah, that was the other. Scottish. Oh, yeah, he went on with her, did he? He went on, she went on with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. so we're hoping yeah. to get her get on us. Um, we, just, we just had Alex Reid. Alex Reid the other day, he was pleasant, really nice guy. Well, he's a mad, he's a mad individual, isn't <laughs> he? Yeah. 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 Where do I know him from, big brother? Yeah, big brother. Yeah. And, then, and then he got with Katie Price. So, yeah. He's just got out of prison. What's he in prison for? Some insurance fraud thing. Oh, so he's on the fraud now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's committing fraud now. <laughs> <laughs> he's fun, isn't he? He's good fun. Yeah. Good value. Good value. Yeah. Well, he's he's the type of character of like. Yeah, he's he got. He had a thing about. about I mean, yeah. There was a thing about the cross dressing that was in the news. Exactly. But, but instead of hiding away from me, he, he embraced it. it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. that's yeah. the best yeah. thing he could have done. Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. He's a funny man, that Alex Reid. Yeah. It is what he's a big meter, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like a mongoose, like a cow. He's not actually. Is, 
He's tall as what I thought he would be. Right. He's not short by any means. I thought he would be. He's solid I like he'd... Baron, isn't he? Yeah, he's solid. Yeah, absolutely yeah. solid. But mine's natural. <laughs> mine's natural. Is, 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 I won't go into him. He's a good man. I'll yeah, yeah. Him there. Yeah, he is. Knows. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, yeah. Lots he's, a, he's a very extravagant individual, though, isn't he? Definitely. But it's good the way he embraces his whole... He's, he's philosophical. He's a family man now. He's just had a kid. He's very spiritual as well, surprisingly. Yeah. Very, very spiritual. Right. I think most people are these days, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. I think, I think we're prison all sort of helped him a lot, isn't it? He kept saying it was blessed in disguise going to prison because he had the actual quiet time in the cell to get his head to fuck together yeah. and realise what the fuck was prison going on. Prison can help you in that way Yeah, sometimes. so he, he so does see it as a blessing. So. To get took out the pictures, boss. It's like, uh, anyway, that's him. Who'd anyway, got, moving on. We've got coming up in the future. <laughs> I've had some David Icke uh, about to be published. I just put one clip up on Aliens. What, what do you think of David Ike? I think he, I think he chats a lot of shit, but he's got to. <laughs> yeah. And that's what, what conspiracy. Going on. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not far from the mark. Yeah. So what, what he's indicating is right, but is he, is he, is he? A, there's definitely aliens. There's definitely another there's type so of human being. There, isn't there? There's yeah. definitely another what type of human being. What do you think about it? There's loads. Yeah. We're just balls of energy. Yeah. That's what we are. If you start focusing your mind on the fact that you're a ball of energy mm -hmm. and yeah. the pure the purer your energy is, the powerful you become. Yeah. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. If your energy is poisonous and weak and bullshit, you're going nowhere, you're getting nowhere and you're definitely not getting to the next level. Yeah. So, so I see with you when you say I'm in the flow, it's like you're always in the present. I'm in the flow, that's it. Yeah. I don't know how I've managed to get round to this have you point. Always, have you always been quite like that in the present? No. Do you think that was prison? It's all happened in the last that experience, actually. Yeah. To be honest with you. Mm. Yeah. Everything lifted. People are saying I'm on DMT. <laughs> great I'm energy not, in here. But I've never had the DMT. But I've no. got the same feelings. What you're getting from, you know, like I'm I'm visiting places and it seems so real. But it's just an out of body experience. What's what, what's in it next for you then, Sean? What's look? So how old are you, Sean? I'll let you guess. 52. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking is, yeah. You've said 40. Are you 52 though? Yeah. yeah. So you're 52. Yeah. How long have you been in this game for now? Podcasting game? So I've had the game. channel for um, 13 years. I've been a blogger since the jail. We exposed the conditions in the jail. It was smuggled out. That's since 2004. So you've been in it <laughs> a long time. Yeah. So are you ever going to step back? Are you ever going to step back and put someone in your position? More like I'm building a, a bigger team of people. Well, that's what so I'm. That's what I'm talking. Me and Murphy Steeples and people. Joe and James yeah. and Ash. Well, that's what I'm yeah. trying to say. So, if are, are you looking on stepping back now and, and um, being the boss behind the scene? Wild man called me the robot because I just never stop working. Yeah. So I'm I'm on it everything. Yeah, all the time. I I love interviewing people. I get to meet yeah, such yeah. you know such people with crazy stories, and it's just. It's the best job in the world, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so is that how you're moving forward? Do you enjoy for? it? I love it when it's I can do it. It's brilliant, isn't it? I'm not like it's a normal fuzzy. podcaster, though, am I? What do you mean? Like, I, you've never seen me. Well, I've done four, I've done four episodes with uh, Michael Macy, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the YouTube channel got shut down. Well, it never got shut down. It just got renamed and yeah. put into someone else's name. And I got told it was shut down. Yeah. But it never, it still existed, you know what I mean? So it, I've done them four podcasts, and to be honest, I didn't like them. Because they were structured. Do you want to be more out interviewing people, though? I just want to be myself on an interview. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to have to sit there like that. And and. Uh, uh, you do know we come. No, I haven't prepped anything for today. But that's the best. Interview. That's the way I am. Yeah. yeah. That's the best way, and that's why we're getting natural shit here. Most yeah. mo most of your interviews that you're seeing, you're sort of prepped, and so, you can so see my, that preparation beforehand. My guest booker tries to get the best stories out of people. The titles. So we know where we're going. The thing is, Darren, you're a great speaker, but sometimes you get people in front of the camera, you ask them a question, and they give like a one minute answer. Oh, so unless you know their stories, you can't dig them out of them. Yeah. It's like, I had, a, I had, well, I won't say who, but I've had, I've had a few problems with people trying to get the stories out of them. So now I have a guy who pre-screens them and makes sure they've got the stories it's and they can tell them. Simple, well, ask I can, 20 I, questions I, if you like. Well, that's what I mean, I couldn't yeah. be able to deal with people like that. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to have someone I'm interviewing and he's going, well, can you take this out? Yeah. It's none of that. You're in here 50 minutes unedited. 
Because having a story is one thing, but being able to tell it is a completely separate thing. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I can invent a, I can invent a story right now. Go on then. I'm a mass murderer. <laughs> Now, if I just pop, if I just popped up from nowhere onto this platform and started screaming, I've killed sixteen people. I'm yeah. fucking mad. Hundred thousand of them will believe it. Yeah, Do you understand what I mean? And yeah. that's how easy it is to fool people yeah. and manipulate people. Yeah. People can invent stories, get put on a platform that's half decent, and because the platform's half decent, they believe in it. That's why you got to ask for people's paperwork. Exactly. Yeah. Not many people have got it, have they? Well, we make sure that we try and make sure. I, I, I keep all my papers. Many people try and come on who are fake. Yeah, of course he has. I've interviewed over 500 people by now, 200 on the True Crime podcast and the rest on the channel. There's got to be some people in there who've embellished or something, you know, yeah. along Defo. the way. Yeah. Defo, uh, even in the early in your career when you're just looking at interviews, you're yeah. probably like, go ahead, slip in there. You know, yeah. that's what they do. These have done it, these amateurs now, they've done it, but not on, not out the public eye, they've just done it blatantly. Yeah. Right. Just got some kid and went, go and tell a load of lies about Darren. Mm. And it just went wrong for me, you're on it. From that, from, you seen the attack, mm. it was obvious where it came from, it's obvious who the group is. Mm. I was suspecting you was involved in that group. Mm. I'm now sat here with the clarification in my mind that you were absolutely nothing to do with anything that came towards me back then. And it, it, as I keep on apologising to you. It's probably going to be the last time I apologise to you because I'm never going to defend you We've again. We've built the bridge now, haven't we? So well, that's it. There was a bridge. Done. The yeah. bridge was built. And then it got burnt. And then Jenny's popped in and laid a little fucking bit of confetti across it, <laughs> which is strong enough for us to run across. In the high boots. <laughs> well, look. We're here, yeah, it's 47 minutes. We're only going to go to 50 minutes. I can drag it out. I think we've had a nice, yeah. the whole purpose of this. I wanted to do a full interview with you, but. Anytime, anytime you want. We'll, we'll, we'll schedule it in the future yeah. or whatever, but. We're yeah. coming back up here, aren't we, at the end of the month? Yeah. End of October, yeah. we're driving through. Yeah. So if you want to do a new, if we, we'll do a proper interview then. Yeah. Is there any uh, studios around here or anything? I'm at Oh, yeah. This is a studio. Yeah, great. I think everybody wants to do... No, we can do it in here. Like I'll it. be moving soon. I like it, yeah. Hopefully I'll have a one-bedroom flat, you know, so I can, I can have my living arrangements yeah. in the studio. But yeah. until then, I've just got to suffer in this space. Oh, it's lovely. The artwork is <laughs> fucking great, guys. Isn't it? Love the blue. Well, everyone likes that one. Similar head yeah. shape. Everyone likes this Banksy as well. Do you sell these, you said? I will be, yeah. Once, yeah. once, once I've done the 55 paintings... Get on. So I'm doing 55. Once I've done them... I'll be flying. I'll why, sell them all. Why 55? It's just a number, mate. Okay. The number <laughs> five. Red, the number yeah. five, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Everything's with the number five, with me, L5 alive. Everything's number five. Yeah, yeah. And when you leave here today, you'll probably see more than usual the number, number five. five pop Everywhere. Everywhere Sean you said, go, it'll just he, remind you. He was obviously watching your podcast, turned it off. He woke up to it in the oh, middle yeah, of the night. Oh, yeah, so last I mean, night, I went to bed. Yeah. And like my phone sometimes just starts playing things in the night and it, it, it doesn't happen very often. Like two in the morning, I just heard your voice. I was like, <laughs> it's Darren in the house. You need to get up. It's Darren in the house. No, well, I, I, I've never been no threat to you, Sean. I know I've ran my mouth off saying I'm going to fucking blah, 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 but I'm not, I'm not I've never been. I knew from, from day one, even without the paperwork proof that's gone out in the last couple of days, I knew from day one someone was using you. Yeah, that and that's possible. why I've never ever said a bad word about you. When people started selling me those things you were saying, I said, look, I fully support Darren's fucking mission. Right, but I, I didn't just like, I didn't just, let me try and find them fucking messages for you now, so you know the real, because you've got, you've got individuals saying, they're screenshots. No, they're not, I've, screen, I've, I've fucking screen recorded everything. Screen recorded, yeah. So let's just see if I can find them now. How many's, uh, how many's on the line? Well, I'll, I'll, get, I'll do it in a minute off camera. Six. Wow, six, yeah, 650, that's brilliant. Well, we've held, we've held most of them for a while. What's happening, Brummy Chad? Hope you're good. I'm not blanking my people on here. I'm just, um, as you can see, I'm deep in a conversation with Sean and his... And his... Co-host. Co-host. And we are going to be getting... We are going to be buying a painting. Sean is Scorpio. Darren is a Sagittarius. What is Jen? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Chatty yeah. as fuck. Definitely not two-sided. 
Who is the stunning blonde from Posture Happy? They're saying they, <laughs> they're saying they want to choose which painting I'm going to buy. Well, I like the blue. Yeah, I think that's Yeah, it suits me, doesn't it? The head shape. Yeah, it looks like you. Take a video if you want, Sean. Yeah, have yeah. Need. Have it neat. Would love to, thank you. You're going to sit up on your wall behind That'll be on the background from my studio with the wild man. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. That's a fucking good painting. That's probably one of my best, mate. Yeah. Have it like. Oh, you're done. Don't you know anyone to buy this Banksy? I know you all believe it's not a fucking Banksy. I'm, Is I'm it? firm in the belief that it's a Banksy. Can get it, Banksy. Can't you get it on like eBay or something? Just let me move this out the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube well, I've got, to, I've got to protect myself with all, these, yeah. with, all, with all these drug dealers coming after me. That is cool though. That's definitely a Banksy, that. If you can't see it, people, there it is. So the streets are my gallery. The streets are my, my gallery. gallery. It was put facing Liverpool um, Art Gallery, glued to the wall, hidden behind a salt bin. New Year's Day, I found it. Oh, shit. It was dated 2019. Can you What's confirm going? with Banksy, perhaps? I've tried. Yeah, because that looks genuine, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. The, it's the first time he's put his print on it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like, if you can see this, B A N S Ski. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the glue was. That was keeping it to the wall. Oh, see, I think that's genuine. What it, what it was yeah. meant to do was crack when it was getting it off the wall. Yeah. Now, if yeah. someone else would have found it, we just went at it with a screwdriver and, went, yeah. and it would just went right down the middle. But because that's why that hole was there, see? To, to enforce the crack. But I never, I spent half an hour just chiseling it. Chiseling away. I just, I, I knew it was a Banksy oh, straight away. Yeah. Yeah. Had a little yeah. crowd following me. But uh, he probably knows I've got it, so he's not saying it's genuine. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the minute I give it to someone, it'll just be everywhere genuine. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's my life. That's my life as it is now. Needs an L5 on the back. <laughs> well, anyway, people, it is what it is. Been waiting for this talk with him forever, and now we've had it. We've cleared the air. We're about to shake. We're about to. We're about to shake hands. Fucking hell, Jenny. Jenny's got a nipple on people. Jenny's got nipples like bullets. So it is from here. We've been on an hour. We've had a good time. We've cleared the air up. There's no animosity between us now. Whatever Sean does in his life, I wish him well. Same with Jenny. I wish them all good. Thanks. Nice one, Daniel Early, for that five pounds. First one in, dropping me a fiver. Find Jenny on Instagram. Lots more pics. Jenny, what's, what's your things, La? Uh, so it's at boomer underscore Jen. So it's B-O-O-M-E-R underscore J-E-N. That's my private one. Um, I guess well, it's not You're private. So that's my personal one, which will take you through to the business website. Well, what I'll try and do, I've never done it before, but I'll try and bang your links up on this live yeah, as I drop it now. Or while James is here, now we can yeah, do all the linkage for you before he's yeah. going and it's on there and this. So I'll do, I'll, I'll do that now. My people, I might do a live tonight, if not, I'll see you over the weekend, as I said to you earlier on. I've got a little bit of acting to do tomorrow with the people from wherever they're from. I'm just going to do it. Hopefully, up set up. I'm hoping it's not a setup, but if it is a setup, it's all clickbait in it. So anyway, L5 alive, choose a life, Thanks not a knife. So Dad and G as always. Yeah. Peace out. Do you want to say something, James? There you go, that's the cameraman right in there. Peace out, L5 shout. Take it easy. See you later. Earlier this week, Darren G released all of the paperwork to show exactly how James English tricked him into believing that I had nasty charges so that Darren would attack me. This comes on the back of James English claiming that Darren and I had created a conspiracy theory against him. We are about to show you all of the actual conversations that Darren has just published. The screenshots of James English performing this manipulation on Darren. Two times now James English has launched massive attacks on myself. I've been forced to defend myself, that's all I've done so far. 
let's go over the screenshots so that we can see the exact words that were used. So this is a conversation between James English and Darren G. Darren G's responses are highlighted in grey. James's are in the white circle boxes, oblongs. First screenshot says, these rats who target, that's by Darren. That's why always send to you first, James. Make contact first, Darren. As get few messages like that, but again, could be anyone. Okay, Neon, bro. Darren says, Martin's podcast shipmate built it up for nothing, mate. James says, hoping part two better. Darren says, I'm not watching, lad. Next screenshot. Messy move what he done there. Fooling everyone to subscribe. Then not giving them what they came for. Messy, but that's his way, lad. So Darren is referring to the podcast I did with Marvin Herbert. He clickbaited it as if he was exposing me when the whole thing had been fully agreed with Marvin. But then a few weeks later, he started putting out videos saying he would exposed me. Because so many people were asking him, why the hell did you not do what you promised? So he just went down that road anyway, even though there was nothing to expose. James says, ours will hit over 500 first week. His flow... So I think James is referring to part three with Darren. It will get 500,000 views in the first week. That's my interpretation of that. They know James knows when he brings Darren in to attack me, it's going to get massive views. And he's hoping that it's going to knock me down, my reputation down. And it's going to boost his own so he can rise up in the podcast world. So James... Puts some smiley faces after Darren says, I'm not going near it, lad. And then adds, you know I am the podcast king, brother. No ego at all there, uh, but that gives the motive. He wants to be the podcast king desperately. Specifying the, indicating what his motive is, his ego. That's the whole motive behind the two massive attacks James English has launched against me. And his little. Then there's joke. There's a few jokes about farts. You the wind king, bro. A lot of farts last weekend, bro. No more KFC for you. Darren says, James, how are you, mate? Oh, this was 21st of December 2020. My passport is not happening, mate, so I won't be going on your drink trip. So James had planned to take a number of his most popular guests on a trip. Literally. It's weird because the woman who's just been knocked back has just done three other, pe other people and they were sweet. It took four days for me to get the refusal. Not sure what that means. Happening, bro, James says. Were you and Michael? It was minutes just in the house. It's bullshit. Haha, -ha, exposing himself further. Merry Christmas, bro, James says. Hope you have a great day. And you, lad, you had your dinner and a drink. Haha, -ha, I don't drink, bro. You had much. In a minute, mate. Got the coach at 3.20, landed at 6. Been here with kids. Back home later, coach. That's Darren. Have a belter, brother. Chat tomorrow. Fists, high five, Santa hats, bro. So James English and is saying that Darren is his brother. Someone just tagged us in Twitter. This is 26th of December. Now, here's where it starts. This is where the manipulation starts. So James is sending Darren a copy of my original charge sheet. And he has highlighted the word minor without explaining to Darren that this charge pertains to Wild Woman's 16-year-old son answering her phone and then passing it to Wild Woman and her doing a drug transaction. That was one of the charges. The other charge was wild man's, wild woman's 16 year old son using her phone to buy weed. And at the end of this video, you will hear wild woman describe exactly the nature of these charges. So without explaining the context of the charges, James English highlights minor on this charge sheet 
to make it look like something particularly insidious. Darren responds with, I f effing knew it, lad. So he's took the bait. James says, you did, bro. Yeah, that's his charge sheet. He pleaded to the drugs and other charges were dropped. Then Darren says a word to describe the kind of person who would engage in insidious activity. So he can't chat poo now. So James confirms what Darren has just said. Darren believes that these are the charges committed by the worst kind of people in society. And James says, you called it, bro. He's fucked now. And then Darren says, let's see what unfolds. Leave them to it now, lad. James says, exactly, bro. Then something about Ben Span sent the email, not Ray Atwood. What's that, bro? And then James says, I put this out yesterday, as in me, but he uses a derogatory term. And then Darren says, F him. James says, exactly, bro. Darren says, and his circle. Darkness. So James is telling Darren, I'm part of a dark circle. You often hear Darren talking about this circle of dark people who engage in insidious behavior. And you can see here James feeding these scenarios to Darren. And there are some names mentioned there. I'm not, I'm not going to mention them. I don't, I don't want to embroil them in drama. So, that shit's messy, bro. Chat to you later, lad. Darren says, too messy, bro. I'm not getting involved, man. You see, he's not getting involved, but he's had Darren on his podcast to absolutely just destroy me, my reputation. So, he's not getting involved, but he has initiated all this. Said my bit, bro. I'm taking a step back. F them, bro. Okay, brother. Enjoy the night. So, Darren responds, mad deep. James says, stay back, man. Too much ash, um, shite, bro. You have done your bit. Let it all crumble down on them all. They're saying he has three months, Darren says. Three months for what? James says, before the ring is taken down. James, you okay, lad? All good, bro. Had some mad messages today. Just effing about on phone. What about? Some mad shit. I've recorded all voice notes and messages. Some mad names. Your name's not mentioned, but that Atwood shit, mate. So Darren's totally stirred up by this. The charge sheet was sent to completely mislead Darren. And I'm going to do another video about this now. Asking for an apology from James English. It's now clear that James English, when he responded recently to stuff, he said that Darren and I had made all this up. It was a conspiracy theory that we had made up. And now Darren has completely decimated that claim by showing the actual conversations with James English to show that James English tricked Darren into believing I had nasty charges He's also put clearly there, he's the biggest podcaster. There's the motive. There's the evidence. Draw your own conclusions. You're now going to get to see Wild Woman describing exactly the nature of those charges pertaining to her son using her phone. Not a good thing by, by any means, a 16-year-old using a phone to buy weed. You know, we don't want kids doing things like that. So, please watch the following. There's something else we need to clarify as well, because prosecutors pull um, very dirty tricks on people. Yes. And one it's of them ridiculous. is to charge them with things that sound really bad, but when you look at actually what happened. Mm -hmm. So, if you're in a conspiracy case, you're liable for everything all the other co-conspirators do. And several of us ended up with a charge that involved a minor. Now, you hear the word minor and you think, oh, what the fuck? No, no, no. Gavin kids on drugs. Yeah, yeah, you know. No. And um, so I was charged with this. It's a class two felony. Wild Woman was charged yes. with this. I got 10 months for that. But what actually happened was, in your own words, 
my son had one of my phones and was hooking up his own weed on my phone and he's not a minor in England. He's a minor over there, but he's not, he's not a minor in England. I don't class him as a minor at the time. And he was getting himself some weed, so I got the charge. So Wild Woman's... Because he's under 21. Massive 16-year-old son used her phone yep. to buy some well, weed. Well, I gave him the phone and told him to do so. So we all ended up, because it's a conspiracy case, we all ended up with a charge that they yeah. could put minor on it that made it sound like we were yeah. using school kids or going down the schools, you know, on the corner yeah. of the schools, trying to peddle drugs. And nothing like that Absolutely ever happened. Absolutely never. No. No. I'll be having no part of that with kids anyway, no. Well, thank you for clarifying that and yes. putting that to rest because these trolls, they try and look at your entire past and find little things mm. that they can blow into big things so they can, like, try and take you down. And all these people have tried to take me down. I mean, Peter, for example, Wildman, when, he, when they first started trolling him, he was getting really furious and he was like, I'm going to find these fuckers and I go to houses. Them because the shit houses, they're behind the keyboard. If they can't do it to your face, why bother getting annoyed with them? Why waste energy on people like that? They're not worth the energy. Cell warriors. Keyboard warriors, that's what they are. Absolutely. If they can't knock on your door and go face to face with you and say, this is my issue with you. Yeah. Well, fuck off. Exactly. I don't care what you think. I don't care <laughs> if you think it's real or not. Whoever you are, I don't give a monkey's fucking rat's ass. Exactly. I lived it, not them. I yes. lived that. Yes. I went through that hell, not them. Totally. So they can comment all they fucking want. Yeah. It's a load of shite. Yeah. <laughs> well said. Now, sometimes you give a disproportionate amount of attention to the trolls when it's nothing but love and support coming in all day long on the platform, which it is. And I'm sure we're going to see that in the comments with Wild Woman. So what do you say, Kerry, to all of our loyal supporters out there, all the people who've read the books and are familiar with your story, or the people who've just heard it today I mean, and have yeah. got your back and um, are just, you know, blown away by what you've been through. And perhaps in particular, what do you say to the young people watching this? Because we do have a, a massive young people audience who may be tempted into drugs. Well, I'd talk them way out of it if I could because it's not all it cracks up to be at all. And prison and jail is nothing nice, especially for females. And you're going to find that out in part two. Yeah, it's nothing nice. And Here at Boomer and Jen, we offer a wide range of organic or recycled clothing. We all know our planet is important. We only have this one. So it's vital that we all work together to slow down and reverse the changes to the environment. Whilst we all know that big industry are having a significant effect on pollution, here at Boomer and Jen, we believe that if we all make small changes, we can do our part. Fast fashion causes detrimental effects to the planet. Not only is nearly 20% of global wastewater produced by the fast fashion industry, but there is a considerable amount of fast fashion ending up in landfill. So let's move away from fast fashion items that are only worn once or twice and start wearing extremely comfortable, durable and environmentally friendly clothing and ethical jewellery. Boomer and Jen was founded in a quiet town in Devon in 2018. It has now gone from strength to strength as the world is becoming more aware of the current climate situation, helping our customers to buy sustainable, quality clothing. All of our products are fair trade and registered with the Global Organic Textiles Standard Association. Check us out on organiccottonclothing.co.uk.